Hey, Alex, Alex, Alex. Come tell me what type of material this is. <laughs> it's not Walmart material. You African. <laughs> <laughs> Fam. Yo, you my... No, you my guy, y'all. Yo, you basta. Yo, you basta. <laughs> Yo. Nah, you my guy. You... <laughs> you basta. <laughs> Hello. Is this thing on? It's on. We recording? Um, yeah. Man. Let's just let the world here ish enjoy like freedom. <laughs> like you hear? That's how you starting out the podcast. I'm just saying. That's no, you know what I like? I enjoy you and Alex's relationship. <laughs> oh man, this guy. No, y'all are funny. <laughs> oh. Is that weird? What? Did, did I enjoy y'all's? Whatever the fuck y'all be doing. <laughs> What are we doing? Right. That don't even sound really. No, come on, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Come that on. don't that's, sound right. No, that's dope. That's 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 dope. When like you forty five, see the young bloods. <laughs> Fam, what are you talking about, dog? Right, you don't. Maybe you don't peep it. Yeah, I don't, I don't peep. It. Maybe you don't peep it. You don't hug Savon like you hug Adam. <laughs> I, don't, I don't hug Alex or Savon. Um, I I dab mm. the young kings up. What's up, man? How are it's you? It's popping, man. Streets Back. missed you. We here. Mic check, one, two, one, two, them boys. Huh? It's yeah, them. Man. It's them. They back. Hopped out the van, huh? Didn't look around. Head off the swivel. No, my head was on the swivel. Oh, it was. <laughs> oh, still? Yeah. I thought you paid everything. I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it. No, no you traumatized, man. No, fam, it's where we from. Your head is on the swivel when you walk out your door. Oh, man. This guy is nuts. Streets was missing you. They was like, yo, where Ish at? The issues had spoke up. That's true. They we did. didn't want any. We didn't want no issues. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. The issues was like, yo, we're off. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. It just seems like something is lacking this episode. Mm. That's, that's crazy. They was like, you, this episode, you can really feel Ish's presence. Right? You seen I, I it? don't know what they Come said. Come on, man. No, they, you had a Dell in there in, in, your little, in your little bunkie. You had <laughs> a Dell. <laughs> Come on. They, they let you use the jail computer for a second. Yeah, that's what they did. Guys, How you doing, man? man. I'm straight. Let me stop joking, man. How you doing? Because people think I joke too much uh, with you. Go ahead. Yo, f- forward, man. I'm saying, how are you I'm, doing? I'm, I'm great. talking I'm to straight. you. We're no, starting no, no, out with I'm great. mental health. This shit is important, man. They try to snatch our guy. We here now. Huh? You know what I mean? Huh? You want to tell anybody about your experience? You want to keep that? You know what I mean? I mean. You told me some horror stories, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nah. Tell them about all no, little, no, no. This is the bad part. I'm gonna keep it all pop. little new anal games, niggas. I don't know nothing about whoa. that. Whoa, yeah, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, why your brain just gotta go far left? Like, oh shit, they doing some new shit with the asshole. <laughs> I don't know nothing about the old shit or the new shit. <laughs> I wouldn't know if it was new, nigga. <laughs> yeah, let, let me stop too. Yeah, <laughs> Shut up. Start taking this. Why give me a ticket somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yo, dog. Everything we talk about on this stupid ass show, this amazing award winning <laughs> dumbass <laughs> show, yo, it manifests in some way, shape, or form. We gotta start talking about all nice shit, Christmas, happy. yeah, very <laughs> happy bunny rabbits, yeah. This shit, yo, man, <laughs> yo, your man, right you there, blaming the artwork, yeah. <laughs> Yo, your man over here. I don't play around it. That's why, but that's why I don't play around in New York. Yo, New York is ill. Yeah, this shit different. Yeah. Yo, shout out to all them people at Rikers. That shit is a boy. And yeah. we just talked about it last week. Yeah. You got to go see it firsthand. That's crazy. You went on a fucking tour, journalistic a tour. fucking <laughs> mission for us. Ain't even wear a little me. sneaky camera and get us some content while you was in there. I did. My bad. Everybody else in there sneaking shit. You want to just obey the law. Yeah, they say, in. yeah, they sneaking. You ain't have nothing. Just ish. Mad, vulnerable. Mm-hmm. New Jersey. Nigga. Exposed in there. Shout out to the people at the jail. Did you get in there and spit all your capitalist views? <laughs> I'm, not a capitalist. I'm not a capitalist though. <laughs> Talk those real quick. We're not a capitalist. Wait, though. We gonna put them in the back. <laughs> Wait, he I'm talked all a, his little capitalist views when he I'm went in there. Nigga was in there like, yo, nigga switched it up on him. I was talking about Rachel Nichols, right? Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and play now. <laughs> All right, well, it's like, good yeah. to have you back, man. It's good to, nah, good to have you here. I'm sorry you had to go through that. We man. missed Work. you. Cool. Sorry for your experience. Uh, it's all right. 
And stay on top of your shit, nigga. <laughs> 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 the fuck? Here we go. Now, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Microphone check. One, two. What is this? <laughs> Microphone check one two. What is this? Welcome to episode four seventy six. Four seventy seven. I thought seven maybe six. I was right. You've been fucking it up on the titles too, homeboy. <laughs> you ain't say nothing about that one, right? <laughs> Quiet now, of course. Uh, welcome to episode so 476 of the Joe Button Podcast. He is I and I am him. Your humble, grateful, gracious, and highly favored host. Here with some really cool dudes. Parks is here. Ice is here. Corey is here. The entire video village is here back there doing something, I'm sure. And last. Come on, dog. <laughs> But certainly not least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. Yo, come on. He's Starringe's finest. <laughs> finest. <laughs> Riker's finest. Uh, yeah, yo, what's wrong fresh with out. you, dog? Mr. I'll be in and out in a minute. Huh? What's wrong with you, dog? Mr. I don't sit down for long, huh? Come on up, man. <laughs> Hold up, man. What was it? A Tuesday, lightweight Wednesday, we out of here? Del Frisco staking up. Come on, man. You can't stop shit. Stop shit. Stop your bullshit, All right, come on. I right, forget man. it, man. How's everybody doing? Fucking How's great. How's everybody doing? Great, How y'all feeling? Today. How you living on your block? Mine's is hot. You a little hyper. Yours is hot. You hyper today. You ready. I'm not hyper. You got something feeling, to do tonight? Just feeling good. Not at all. No plans. Nope. Going to bed. Keeping it light. Staying in. Saving money. Mm. Saving saving, saving uh, energy. Mm. Protecting energy. Resting. Relaxing. Taking care of my body. Was there any song eating, lyrics that came right? in your head while you were there? Were you like rapping "One Love" by Nas while you was in there? I, I, my brother Buck Wild in the Fort Main, he wrote me. That's <laughs> all I can think about. <laughs> I swear to God, like I'm like, yo. Anyway, that was literally in my head though. No bullshit. Did you get your sweets, your snacks, mm. candy? Probably lost like eight pounds. <laughs> just off, uh, oh, so just now, off Sour Patch Kids alone. So if you could just get arrested <laughs> twice a month, <laughs> seven more times. You might actually get down to your Yo, preferred weight. This nigga's so stupid. What's up, man? How's everybody doing? Who's Good, looking man. forward to the weekend? Who got big plans? How was your week? Oh, really? Great. So now, <laughs> let's get right into it. Music? Music first? Let's, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, let's go. Music. Music dropped. Come on, let's argue about Meek. Expensive <sighs> Pain. Boy. Dope title. Dope artwork. I love the title. I, I love the artwork. I, don't love I the hate artwork. the artwork. I love I, the title. Love the title. Don't like the artwork. I like the album, though. Cause y'all broke. I hate the album. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> one to ten. Uh, first listen. Oh, I've listened one and a half times. I would say somewhere in the seven range seven. for me. Yeah, I gotta check it out. You ain't listening yet? No, not yet. Okay. You gotta check it out. Just what, came, what? just came out like a couple of hours ago. All right. So one to ten, right? Uh huh. You heard That's the whole said. thing? I heard the whole thing three times. Three okay. times. Okay. Yeah, it just came make sure out. I wasn't tripping. But it just came out. It came out at midnight. So you heard it three times? Yes. You that's why you press press play on at midnight? Yeah, you, you, I did. I did press play at midnight. I was looking forward to this album. I wanted to hear the Meek album. Yeah, I press play at midnight too. But yeah, it came like, out I'm, at midnight. <laughs> you got a young daughter and you heard it three times. She was sleep. She sleep. My daughter's sleep, bro. She's scheduled. Damn, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> but um when I rate an album one to ten, to answer you, I'm doing it strictly on a numbers basis. However many songs, the songs I like. Oh, and I'm nah. coming up with the percentage. Gotcha. You changing your your no, shit? No, no, no. I'm making it. I'm doing it that way because people said I'm bugging. I, I'm giving you a factual. Nah, I like your system of rating against his previous. Oh work. well, if I rated against his previous work, then it's even lower than my one to ten rating. Oh well, goddamn! <laughs> this is the worst album he's put out oh, to I me. I disagree. To me, I disagree. This is a one. This is one of my favorite ones he put out. This is a one. This is a one. One to ten. Out of one to ten. Two out of eighteen records. It's 11%. It's a one. But then you got to give some of the songs a five or a six. No, they I don't. Might, they might not be bangers, but they could be all right. I This is Lil Dirk album to me. I don't even hear Meek. I hear Meek impersonating Dirk. Mm. So, first off, I'm a, Meek is known for the intros. I go to the intro. Cool. I didn't like the intro. Bro. Hate Me Now beat. Classic. Love it. I hate this 
fast flow, the flamers flow. I hate when he does that. The flamers flow? Yes. That's I'm, what it's called, the flamers? Well, because he named the record flamers. Flow. Oh, gotcha, he, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's like the old Meek mixtape flow that he used to use. Gotcha. I was never a fan of that. So I was turned off from the intro. And I, it was the first time on a Meek album that I did not like the intro. I didn't love this intro either. I'm with you on that. I'll say that that was true for me. Yeah. You didn't like the intro? It just wasn't the normal Meek intro I'm used to. Yeah. yeah. Like, Meek is, Meek like, intro he's is an movie. intro nigga. It's a movie. Like, you yeah. know you're getting something with the intro. Gotcha. I pressed play and I thought maybe I made a mistake and was on track two. That's what I thought too. Mm. No bullshit. I was like, nah, this is not the intro. Nah. Oh shit, this is the intro. Really? Nah, I'm cool. But I didn't, I let every record play. Usually, I'm, I'll am i skip the song. Yeah, if it, something don't hit you, you'll just skip it. Nope. I didn't do, I literally sat down and let this entire album play. By track maybe six, if this wasn't Meek and an album that I was really looking forward to, I'd have cut it off. Damn. Kept it going. I like two songs off of this album, which is the title track, Expensive Pain. I like that song a lot. Love and Tweaking song. featuring uh, Vori. Those are the only two records that I'm cool with everything else. You like the you baby in uh, Dirk record? No. I didn't like that when when this when it came out as the single. Yeah, all right. I'm 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 back with another one, man. It, if I never hear Meek and Dirk and Baby again, I'm cool. See, my problem with them, I'm okay. My problem with the sound of this album, Meek is their OG. Uh huh. He shouldn't be doing what they. He doing. shouldn't be right, right. But Meek is a businessman. Okay. So a part of evolution and growth. Is that if you see something moving and mm-hmm. the units are moving, you kind of got to get the fans a little bit of what they want, and they dictating what they want by how popular these little niggas are, right? So I, you kind of gotta give a little bit of, and not transform your whole style into what they doing. I don't, I don't agree with that. I didn't hear it yet, but I don't agree with that. But again, if this is what's creating the money and the revenue coming in, right? You got to get the fans a little Man. bit of that. I'll this tell you what the, I liked about this okay, album. Since you just got I'm, your I'm, hate I'm, out, I'm a response. I didn't feel like he was yelling at me the whole time, like he does on a lot of projects. That was like great. it was sign, that is like him. shout to Cruz, man. This I think it was the that first was time great. he mixed the whole project, so shout to him because he didn't feel like he was yelling at me the whole time, which I loved. Uh, from championship, I'm glad there was less flips. Like championships was mad flips, big like, flips. You mean? Yeah, like something that yeah. was already up. Yeah, there was the intro, and then after that, he kind of left it alone, which I liked a lot. Um, and I like I, there was nothing really on there that was turned me off. Like it was a bad record to me. Not See, too me, much. I li- I listen to this album and I'm like, this is not the same person that made champions championships. Mm. This is not the same person that made wins and losses. Mm. This is not the same person that made dreams worth more than money. This is not the same person that made dreams and nightmares. Like none of those albums. This don't sound like. Well, then me. that leads to the conversation of: Do you want your favorite artist to remain the same right. album? Indeed. to album. I was about to say because that. before you ever saw any music. Meek showed you via his socials that he's changing. That he was changing. He's a different yeah. person. I was about to jump into that. It's totally he's different. Grown. I don't need to get into but all the ways grown. in which how. This sounds, this but is, he looks like a totally different he Meek. Acts, he acts. He hangs with a different yes. crowd. Yes. He speaks yes. different. Even the things he's in search of. Exactly. Even though I disagree that he goes on Twitter and fucking does it. But the thing I is like that, that his though. mind I, is, I think he's trolling when he does I like that. I'm just saying where his mind is. The conversation clearly are lets yeah. us know he ain't the same True. Meek from a uh, house party I, as he shouldn't. Be. I, That's right, 10 he should. years ago. And I, even the title of the album, right? And the again, artwork, again, I didn't really get, get into the album, but the artwork, some some ill artist did it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Title of the album, "Expensive Pain." When they asked him about it on uh, Gilly shit, he was like, "Yo, this shit could, this shit could mean a plethora of things. This could mean the fucking." car that you crashed or you couldn't pay the rent or just whatever he was saying and then you listen to it and you do hear what his version of expensive pain was all the things that i'm that i'm losing as i climb this ladder but i'm not gonna stop Don't so i like, like where track. he was I at i love that i love that i like, that. I like that's the title track yeah let me play he, the title track a that's bit. what joe just said is describing the title track which is one of my favorite records on the album no he did this this he probably could have been the this. intro <laughs> he, I would have loved that. Yeah. This sets the tone. See, for me, that's Meek's back. Right there. That's, that's nice. his pocket. He, yes. That's his groove. When he's in that bag, he's unfuckable. Unfuck. Yeah. Un, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, stop taking the fucking thoughts out of my head. <laughs> but, but, no, I, I, but when he hops in 
these other lanes the that may, lanes. these other lanes that may be a bit more congested. Uh, that's a good way to say that. Okay. He he doesn't stand out as much because there's traffic here, but when he does this, mm. boy, yeah, he's the fastest car out there. Mm. It, it don't matter how many cars is trying to do this. That's him. he he does that. Yeah, that's that's his shit. Gotcha. So, man, I do want to hear the rest of it. I was disappointed that it sounded like he got into this bag later on down the album, but in the streaming era, I understand that. I, I know why people do that now, unless you dedicate your whole album to this. Uh, I think I like Championships a little more than this on first listen. I'm going to give this time to settle in, uh, try to listen to this in some different moods versus the one I've been in today. Yeah. It'd be hard, too, like when we come in here, got to talk about something after... Hearing it at midnight, midnight might not be the best time to listen. Yeah, but that's yeah, why you might have had a shitty day. day. That's why I listened. I told you I listened three times. That's yeah. why I gave it the midnight run just because it was out. I want right. to see if anything stands out, anything grabs me off the first listen. Right. But I, I will say, Meek, Meek for a lot of people is that artist, is the feature artist that you wait for yes. and you listen oh, for to. Sure. The Especially album. he ain't dropped since eighteen. He ain't dropped an album. Right. Oh yeah, I want to hear this. Championships was eighteen. Yes. Championships was 2018. Late twenty eighteen. That was a real good album. Yeah. That was in that was the top album. albums of the year. I like that to album me. a lot. I did. This one it just felt like niggas had to put something out. I, didn't get I was that. just I didn't ready get to that say from this. You I didn't. You didn't. I didn't get that from this. Not at all. I think I, it there were it, it you know, again length of album shit but any top tier artist is gonna go longer and they probably should because that's the game but it didn't it felt it felt like they tried to do something and to me and that's kind of how i grade albums like were you trying to do something was it something a little different or something cool some growth and did some, you achieve it some evolution and to it. me he did those things and i, I enjoy it i mean See, that, that's me, all for one to listen. me this doesn't look as evolution to me because like again you're using the flows that early mixtape me Mm-hmm. Used. So that's not evolution. That's sonically going. is evolutionary well, to me. Maybe I maybe point. I'm just stuck on that part because usually a Meek project, I'm exhausted by track eight. See, when I hear, I'm comparing him to his own work. When I hear championships, he's talking like it's not the like he's not rapping fat. You're not you're not doing. Nah, he did some talk. He was talking he on did. there. He did some talking on here. I'm I, on the records that I'm saying. He's talking. He talked on some of the records that might not be my favorite. Right. I, that's he, another thing that I was going to say is he was rapping pretty well on this project to me. Again, wasn't it for me? I, I feel that's you. All. But you might be more of an invested Meek fan than I am. Yes. I'm not really that deeply invested See, as a Meek fan. I like his jams and I always listen to his albums, but I don't necessarily go back to him because again, like, I even when I saw feel the fe- exhausted after. Even when I saw the features, there were certain records that I knew I couldn't wait to get to. Like We Slide featuring Thug. Mm. I know what they did with We Ball. Right. Which is one of my probably a top 10 Meek record to me. Mm. So I couldn't wait and I didn't skip. I let it play in order. Right. And I heard it and I'm like, this ain't what I expected it to be. I'm, I, there's a lot of misses on here to me. Cold Hearted, the first two are amazing. Mm. I get the Cold Hearted three and I'm like, damn. Like I just had higher expectations, I guess. Coming off of championships, with it being this long, after mm-hmm. pandemic year, the EP he put out last year was great. The the quarantine pack, the four the four songs. See, I didn't love that. I love that. Hmm. Interesting. So it's like anytime he start with turn me up, cruise. Yeah. He going where he need to go. Congratulations to Meek, man. Absolutely. Shout out to him. Hopefully this album does well for you. I'm sure. I, it will. I love seeing. Oh, yeah, I think it will. Yeah, I think it will too. Well, yeah, he had the week to himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the Wayne record dropped too. Oh, yeah, but right. I don't think that's going to probably... Yeah, that's, they're kind of in different lanes at this point. Yeah. And I don't think that was a... That's not a, a Wayne album. That's true. I mean, you know, that's a, a Wayne and Rich shit. the Kid joint tape, which I listened to that too, thoroughly. And from that, I got that they was just having some fun. Yeah. Like, I'm not coming in here making a super lyrical... You know, we're going to have some fun with this. I like I, that, though. I, I like it. And I like that it was short. It was mm-hmm. 10 songs, like... Because a lot of... Those type of projects, I feel like, be dumb long. Like, them artists and that sound and everything, you give me 20 songs, like, I don't want to hear that nah, shit. No, they didn't do too much with this. Yeah. They played, they had fun, and I, from a person that liked Rich the Kid's Boss Man album, uh-huh. I was going to listen to this. Yeah. I'm cool. Like, I get what you were going, where you were going with it. I'm not holding this against you. It's a collab album. We just had some fun. It's an animated, let's just throw a record out. Mm-hmm. I'm cool with that. 
You know how I be joking with you is saying that when we discuss the music shit, like you should stay out of it. I want to stay out of it too. <laughs> I wanna, how can I come over there? With you? <laughs> I, I think I, I only want to critique R and B. That's your bag. You should. Yo, was Wayne getting busy? At times, he wasn't trying to be that. Yeah, he wasn't trying though. Yeah, at times. Did he they, got a couple did they put there. anywhere on the album how they met each other? <laughs> no. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. No, no it's recording. recording. It's, yeah, oh, right, I, I, didn't, I didn't know. Did, did, they, did, did they do that? <laughs> no, Joe. What's the what's why they have to put why they met each other? Because you just don't understand how this happens. <laughs> don't do that. Don't <laughs> no, I want to hear it. Don't try to get me in no trouble. Don't call out his implications. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, no, I know. It was rhetorical. I, I, I know how it happened, <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> just asking. Ever since that Wayne interview where he thought 21 Savage was a, a group, I just, <laughs> him getting with these, hey, forget it, man. I'll just go ahead. <laughs> Wayne just having fun, man. He free and he could do what he want to do now. Wayne don't even care who they bring in the studio with No, him. he don't. <laughs> he, he doing you know, a feature for everybody. Yeah. Yeah, he Wayne, don't care. Wayne ain't even checking. Wayne's having fun <laughs> at this point in his career. Fuck. All right, cool. Let's do it. He said he got three projects dropping, yeah, and this was one of them. Wayne is just rich and aging. Have fun. Like, yeah. They like Wayne, fun. this rich the kid. <laughs> he gonna go in the booth and say a little all right, go ahead, man. <laughs> all right, he gonna do it six times. All right, man. Go ahead. They did a little I'll in and out record. <laughs> <laughs> they did a little in and out on um did on they re- still. Did they record the uh, in and out? Let me all right, play it. Let me tell you. <laughs> play it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love when niggas tell me I, I can hear in and out. Play it. <laughs> oh, you oh, I'll get with I you. can tell you what in and out is. <laughs> I'll, t- I'll tell you right now. Parks is an engineer. What's right. what's in and out? Like when they go back and forth. He said you they know, Joel Ortiz. Yeah, he yeah, said yeah, they didn't yeah. record this like a, like a Jay Z yeah. sauce money. Okay. Yeah, even that, <laughs> even that S- similar. <laughs> Early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to hear the in and out. I just want to hear the dog, dog, dog. Well, you I, get there. <laughs> you 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 get there, and then. Let us in the audience hear it. We're not just going to sit and vibe out with you. <laughs> I'm not vibing no, out. Then just turn it off. <laughs> nah, you I'm said play the record. You think I want to hear the in and out? This is the in and out? See how they little weaving a little bit? All right, bit. All right turn this off, please. Turn this off. A little bit of weaving. Turn I'm off. just saying That's, that they did something is together. Is that what you call the in and out? <laughs> Joe. Did you just hear what you call the in and out? <laughs> Joe, they weaved, right. they weaved on the verse. They didn't. That's all I'm saying. No, they didn't. They bobbed. Their voices they... collided on them. <laughs> <laughs> they not... Yo, stop trying to shit on the project, I'm not man. shitting on the project. I haven't heard it yet. I'm not shitting on it. Uh, all right, get your shit off. I don't have nothing to get off. <laughs> I don't have anything to get off. <laughs> this wasn't my go-to of the week either. Can you take risk to get off? It, it's already done. <laughs> oh, man. It's done. So you what did. came out in R&B? <laughs> JoJo. Okay. JoJo drop. Round of applause for JoJo. Love her. I didn't get around to it yet, but I know it's fire. Because she's fire. Mm. Uh, John Vinyl drop. Round of applause for John Vinyl. A lot of y'all might not know about him. I'm not hip. He's also yeah. pretty fire. He put out a full-length project today as well. Uh, and I think that's all. Nah, the remix nah. dropped to, to, to your record. Remember when you had to wait uh, with your ear by the radio until the DJ felt like dropping the well, new exclusive? Dope shit. That shit was Yo, these kids don't, don't know how bad we had it. Yeah. Man, you ain't yeah. had to put the little tape over the hole so you could record over yeah, it? Yeah, Come yeah. on, man. some cotton or some fucking Come paper. Come on, man. All that. Oh, Anything to get that tape we to work. <laughs> Y'all going yeah. back then. I'm, the, I'm talking about 09. Yeah, not that long ago. When Remember when, when Jay and Nas was beefing Funk Flex held the radio hostage forever? To drop that super ugly shit. Yeah, yeah. Literally, niggas was going out. I worked then. Well, he did niggas that. He left did, he work. Did, he did that a few years ago with the Meek yeah. record that he didn't have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Niggas stopped everything to hear that record, Yo. and he never had it. Niggas went out. We still hear that record. of corporate America to sit in a car to hear the shit. <laughs> All right, I was a little early in predicting that this was song of the summer. You, did, you were, but this was song of the summer this in New dope, York. Though. Nah, this was in dope. New York. I'm not talking about Back in Blood, and I'm not talking about uh. Is another real big, and I'm not talking about Essence. I'm talking about for a record that a dude put out and the label might have missed, which is why the video came out so late. 
And which is probably why the video don't look like the Gallas video is supposed to look. Some people say. Mm. Some people say. For this record to just organically go on its own and be top one, two, or three records of the summer, which is why we get a late remix. Boy, I wish I could have got Chris Brown for a late remix. She don't put it down, remix. Yeah, 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 we can do it. Oh, my. Yo, fam. Oh, my God. What he <laughs> remix, remix. What that boy would have done there. <laughs> Yeah, I might have to go somewhere later. <laughs> nah, hold up. I thought I was going to That quick, right? I thought I was going to have to sit home and meditate. I'm fresh home. <laughs> yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, we, we, we do got to have a welcome. We, we, we can go no, out there. I mean, yeah. do a little. We might have to. What that star looks like? No, no. Nah, your girl ain't letting you go nowhere when she just... just <laughs> <laughs> No, she ain't go through all that for you to hit the streets. Are you in the streets? No, sir. No, no, you got to lay up. You got to do bid number two. <laughs> that one, sit at home for a little bit. And I don't know, I ain't been in the strip club. I have no idea what it looks like. I'm keeping my money. Enough of that. Uh, Enough of that now. I bet you. Yeah. I got a spot we could go that's not a strip club. Well, what is it? We'll talk about it off the mic. If it's relationship uh, friendly, then I can go. It's relationship friendly. Oh, then I can go. Strip clubs are relationship friendly too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Debatable. I've had mad fun with you and your girls and shit at the strip club. Yeah. And vice versa. Yeah. You've had fun with him yeah, and his yeah. lady at the strip club. No, he has a great relationship. <laughs> you don't? No, I've never had. Oh. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Okay. I'm joking. That's a podcast too. joke. Yeah, no. Is trying to set me up because he just came home. <laughs> just got nuts, bro. God damn it. Anyway, uh, what else is going on? What else is going on? That's it for music. I don't know nothing about no more music to come. Nah, came uh, Wale and Cole dropped the record. Did they? Yeah. I, Yo, how do you find I out didn't, about I didn't, music? I didn't hear now? that. Well, Wale was tweeting about it for a day straight, two days straight. Yeah, I saw. I, 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 I oh, see. that still works on you guys. <laughs> Wale tweeting about some shit for a day. Yeah. Yeah, that works. I don't even think I can see anybody's tweets. I think they're all like super tweets or private tweets. No, they're right there. I don't see them. <laughs> I don't see them you on must Twitter. Have I just tweet from my mentions when I'm on there. Oh, okay. I don't my even bad. look at the timeline no more. Damn. It's, it's better that way. Interesting. I don't see the bullshit everybody was talking about. I'll talk about what I want. Interesting. Oh, so this is good for Wale. How is this? I haven't heard it. I wish I were more informed on, on this music that we're talking about Let before I came it? in. But I didn't, Yeah, go ahead and play it. I didn't know none of this came out. But what I will say while Ice finds this song is, if I had a cold feature, I would wait till all these cold feature niggas get out of my way. Yeah. I'm not just dropping my shit while everybody's dropping their cold nah, feature. I'm not doing it. If you I gotta, got busy, I gotta queued up. then you'll have it compared. You get what I'm saying? Go like, if, Go ahead. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 whoa, 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 wait, 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 whoa, whoa, what is it? No, 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 no. I didn't hear anything. Slow down, Wale. She got a little butt. She got a little butt. So what? That's right, nigga. So what? That's right. Little booties matter. Nah, nah. How little? Little booties matter. How little? Coily Ray. I like her. You First, like her, you like her booty yeah, though. Let me tell you something though. While we on this, we're not even on this topic, but I'm gonna bring it up now. <laughs> if you was grooving to a Benzino single at any point in your life, I I think you're weird looking at Coily Ray like that. I wasn't grooving to a Benzino I, single, I, I, but true. it's still weird for me I to can't, look at Coily Ray. Of, none of my peers, and I do look at Benzino that way because I was when. Rock the party, gonna drink the party, gone. I was outside. Mm -hmm. I can't look at your daughter. That's true. You know how many of these niggas got f fucking beautiful kids? Yeah. Like I can't. Ugh. Yeah, it's weird. That's ugh, true. I can't do that. Yeah, that's weird. That's so true. I don't even. I don't even know Corey Ray had an ass. I don't okay. look at her like yeah. that. Okay. I think people should stop talking about her. She don't have her, her body. That's the point. Or her weight. That's or the lack of, my, of weight. Of the comment. Mind y'all fucking business. How about that? Nah, that shit is different. I'm just saying, little booties matter. You, like, when there's, 40, there's a lot of little booty chicks out there. That 20, get early twenty year old daughter. Yeah, that's right. a whole. Yeah. Ugh. No, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. You can't look at but, it. You yeah, know, every, but I just want to say that nigga might have every, a daughter one day. She gonna get twenty twenty one. I hate fine. to tell you, all these chicks are somebody's daughter though. 
All the what chicks? No, he just said I, it. You don't know their dad, though. Yeah, no. Nah, and they don't, don't know their dad. You don't know their dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't deal with no chicks that know Well, she don't fuck with her know dad. Know their dad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you niggas. <laughs> that is a podcast <laughs> joke. <laughs> yeah. It is a joke, man. Nah, that's oh, nah, man. Nah, you don't, yeah. Little booties matter though. I yeah, agree. Right. I, 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 little booties. How matter. do we feel about? Why, I, I wanted to hear what Cole was about to do over this uh, vibrant thing. I can mm. be. I skip a little it bit yet. to it. It's a Cole's verse. You said, well, "How do we feel about what Wale did?" Well, I'm, no, I want to wait to see what what Cole is doing here. <laughs> then he then he wanted to poke it out. <laughs> it's asking a lot. Yo, wait, he's pandering. Where? Oh, it's Cole. Stop, 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 stop. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Oh shit, yo. I want out of hip hop. This <laughs> nigga is pandering to little butts. <laughs> they matter. They do matter. You gonna pander to them though? Sure. Yeah. No one ever made a little butt About song. About time. Nobody. We got so many little butts. Little butts. Out there, but yo. he had the other joint. I'm What's not up? sure he got a big old butt. Oh, yeah. he that just was his He just pandering to whoever got a all, butt. All booties matter. Whoever all got a butt. All booties matter. Yo, Wale got to stop that. Well, that's shit, Cole's man. verse. That part you was just talking about. That's Cole. So what y'all think about? I ain't hear it yet. <laughs> you ain't your headphones Yeah that's it That's it I'm just looking at the Pro Tools I can't hear it You don't like it mm. I don't uh, You don't think I like it <laughs> I don't like this record I get I get it I, I, get the I only critique R&B So I feel, yeah, You yeah, and yeah. I'm, uh, I'm underground I, Strictly underground You know what I mean That was underground No, nah, I don't know That's, no, that's that above was, the ground That's like right there You know what I mean Fire hydrant Fire hydrant Yeah at least like top Curb soil, level You know what I mean I normally like all of Wale's singles, so I mean, go let him do whatever you're doing. With I ain't the really single. like I the verse. J. Cole went a little nuts. I don't like I, when I, I don't want to hear none Cole, of that shit over vibrant thing. I'm I, re, I am replayed yeah. to death, bro. I'm re, I'm tired of the replay. That's because, but see, that goes back to the conversation we had before. Like, I'm not tired of it in R&B. I'm not tired of it. Period. Because you just got to do the. Song they're trying us. to appeal to a younger crowd. They might not know none of them records. Okay, but I see. But then you're, but then how could you say you're trying to appeal to a younger crowd? I don't think the people that this record is target is intended for are is so familiar with vibrant thing. They're not. No, they're not. They're not. The vibrant thing was a pop smash. Yeah. So, so they don't tell break. me that they're trying to target younger people by taking the old smash because it worked. But then. it worked before. So let's flip it and see if it can work again. Yeah. On a younger. Crew. I didn't hear the record, but it feels like they're trying to make a TikTok record. And now you're getting into some real conversation. Mm. All record? of these guys, yes. and yeah. I'm not talking about. This is for the little girls to, with no butt, to shake the, their butt the too. This is butt. a t- come thing. on. This is a TikTok tune. It is. It is. You don't remember Shorty with the light eyes was in the vibrant thing. Yeah. I re- Take that, your that little butt, be, poke yeah. it out, poke it out, yeah. bend down, twerk, twerk, twerk. It's, it's giving TikTok. you the directions. Theoretically, I didn't hear the song, but you know, I think that's what they were going for. <laughs> that could be. But that's what a lot of hip hop labels, companies, a lot of y'all is running after that TikTok template. Hey, the game Maybe is the game. It's working. That's, the game that's, that's how bad. you get signed. That's how the your bad. records work. Uh, those are the people you go to to get your records going. But I mean, when you make it so blatantly obvious. Though. All right. So look on the on the flip. If I'm if I'm an artist like Wale, I've been my last what two three projects not doing that, not getting the recognition that I feel I deserve. I'm gonna play y'all game. I'm not mad at him. Me either. Well, I was mad at him when he went from Atlantic to Warner. I didn't understand that. <laughs> I still don't quite get that. Wait, but what? Went from Atlantic to Warner? Yeah, it's the same thing. Same company. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not mad at him. Wale is on the list of, hey, I don't have no more critique for my rapper peers that are 12 years in. I love Wale. Right. I love Wale. Life yeah. expectancy for a rapper today probably mad short today. You might get it's shorter out. today than it was before. You, you might, yeah, I think it's yeah. shrunk. I think it's now shown. you might not get the album. They're gonna single you to death yeah, and then be out of here. That part too. So like some of these chiseled vets that just have been through war with fans, labels, artists, studios. Yeah, yeah. I'm still here. Bad and single, I gotta play. good single. Switch the sound. This feature, Lady Lady yeah. Gaga feature. I'll try this over here. While they just been trying shit, and he walks away with his fucking huge. Fan base that he has curated for however many years. This is just him trying to reach the extra motherfuckers. And yep. I'm not an extra motherfucker, so this ain't the same for me. That's yeah. what I took from it. That's why I don't like the record. Yeah, it's probably and, not, it's and on probably top of that, 
anytime I hear Wale and J. Cole together. I think it's going to be something. You, yeah. You're going for yeah. the lyrical. Not music. even just lyrical. Like, they don't. Nah, they, they make they magic music. together. They Real talk. Music. And that's my. Uh, yeah. I hate that. They them. make magic. That's one of them duos. Like, that's like when you hear Drake and Ross together. You know you getting one. So I when I first saw it, my, when ahead. I first saw it said, Wale featuring J. Cole, my mind is like, oh, nigga, I'm getting ready to lock in. This is going to be one of those. Uh, to hear y'all playing that game, I mean, like I said, I get it, but it's not what I expected or what I, w- that's not what I would want from I Wale and J. Cole. I think they were two different type of times, though. What you mean? Like, they both rap rap. Like, Wale raps raps. Both I, I really mm-hmm. fuck with him. No question. But he wasn't trying to rap rap. No. J. Cole was still trying to rap rap. Nah, he was also no. saying he was nah, he was trying he, to Nah, he was trying to get some little booty chicks too. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. as a nigga who likes the, you know, little booty's hive over here, I'm not mad at it. This is what I'll say about Cole, even though it's not very much you can say about Cole. I don't like that he does these features that's just like whatever. Mm. It's your man though. I understand that. So I would judge it different mm-hmm. if I didn't hear these other features that were just like whatever. And when it's your man, it's still got to be a moment. Y'all two of those dudes. While they've been telling me for the past three months, not me, but y'all, yo, I'm one of the most prolific pens in hip-hop history. I believe that about him. Mm-hmm. That's true. I Same. agree with I, that. We can all agree with that. With that. Agree so with that. when you get with somebody that they already have as one of the best pens in hip-hop history, let me it ain't you. fucking TikTok time. Yeah, I agree. Okay, yeah. but let me ask you a question got, now. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm a thousand percent Wait, agree. wait, wait. Let me ask you a question. If every time I got with this pen, we did that over there, and y'all overlooked it for the most part, mm-hmm. why not try something different? Because the, 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 the pen that I'm with is going to draw the attention. No. I'm just at, no. Hey, hey, hey. When I go play Kobe and I want to be in Kobe's realm, I'm trying to... Take his fucking neck off. Mm. I'm not gonna say, yo, y'all ain't, y'all ain't notice anyway. So I'm gonna take the night off. Mm-mm. No, I'm not saying take the night off. I'm saying we playing a whole different game. Man, Reggie Miller just told a story. Yeah, I'm not doing. Yo, that. I was, I was in the gym just chilling. It was me and a couple of the other players. Kobe came in like, yo, Reg, I'm about to go work out. Can we play one on one real quick? Reggie Miller was like, sure. Reggie Miller took the ball, scored, missed. Kobe got the ball. He said he seen a look in his eyes that was like from the playoffs, <laughs> like from the finals. Yeah. And then for the rest of the game, Kobe commenced to like doing real Kobe-ish things on a prime Reggie Miller. Mm-hmm. And Reggie <laughs> left that day saying with a different oh shit. <laughs> All right. Different yeah. game. He was I was there to play a game. But he was there to play a different game. Yeah. yeah. So if I you, agree with Ish. So if and, you, wait, hold up, Ish. And if I'ma agree with you, Ice, because you could be right. And why not do something different? If I've tried those things and I feel like people didn't pay the attention it should have. If you say you're going to do something different now with another greatest rapper that we have and give me Vibrant Thing? And not for nothing. No, I, I agree with that. No, you can even give me Vibrant Thing. Don't give no, me Vibrant Thing. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you no, can't. no, no you listen. Can't. Hear me out. No, you can't. If okay. you give me Vibrant Thing, uh-huh. you got to go ape shit. Just for you to but go vibrant get Vibrant Thing ain't but that's that not the record. Shit. No, that ain't the record anything that. could be ape shit if you come on there and go crazy. Mm, we don't want to hear. I don't want to hear you, you going ape shit over ape Vibrant Thing. Yeah, I don't want to hear lyrical, I don't hear lyrical on that. So when I first and heard the beat, I knew what I was about to get. And also, and like, like, put a little put a little something in the imaginate the the replay, for God's sake, please. If you're going to do the replays, like, do put put a different drum Well, that's the other thing. Somebody might want to go listen to and it now sound like I'm shitting on this song and I'm not trying to do that. You might want to listen to the Vibrant Thing beat. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's hard to duplicate that Dilla swing, but still. But nah, <laughs> I, I'm going to just stand in what you said initially. Like, yo, if you've been online telling us for the last three months that you're not getting your just due, when Cole step in the building, you got to go create that. But, so you right, could so be like, look, he he's in everybody's top five. Yeah. I just stood with him, or yeah. I did better. Mm. Y'all got to reconsider where I place. And you just heard the album he put out. Yeah. yeah. You got to reconsider where you put me. Wale, well, I love you, I, and I can't wait for your album to come out October 22nd for Lauren 2. Even the name is setting an expectation for me mm. because for Lauren 1 is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's like top two Wale album to me. But you know what? I will say this, and that's why I don't like critiquing when music first comes out. Uh, I came in here, and I was extra hard on his uh, I Need a Girl flip. I Angus. did eventually end up enjoying it. I love that record. I do enjoy it. 
I do think that's another one of those TikTokish. But again, like records. I said, look at. But I'm, shit, I just downloaded TikTok myself. Fuck that. Now I'm taking <laughs> I'm taking Wale's career at uh, his discography and his career. Uh, again, we just the the Seinfeld album album about nothing. That's the best one to me. Yeah, it's my favorite. That is the best album. Yeah, that's my favorite. Now you take that album. I've heard this argument from a bunch of people. You let someone else who's maybe viewed a little bit higher than Wale make that exact same album. That's a top album in hip hop history. That's true. Yeah. So Wale has a knock. Like I gave you all this, mm-hmm. and it's still not received properly. But it is by those, and I'm pretty sure it sold pretty decently. So, but I get I, I, I get, get having the chip on your shoulder. I get but he's, he's commercially successful, and the people that know lyrics, but it's not just but still the people that him. don't know lyrics that are I'm naming not gonna these down, other I'm names. I'm not gonna dumb myself down though. I'm gonna keep giving y'all the same shit until y'all see, bro. Again. He is commercially <laughs> successful and admired by the people that know lyrics. I don't, I, I get the chip on the shoulder, but I get it too. I get but it. I'm gonna still keep. He can keep doing what he's and doing. And I could say I'm gonna still I, keep. Like I said, I could see him sitting here saying, "Yo, I'm gonna give y'all something different. Fuck it." I mean, you try. I'm try. Every time I do this, y'all overlook me and name the same names. So now I'm gonna come over here and do something different. You listen to the Angles record. You listen to. The, I see the, the where he's going. I'm gonna try to make an all commercial album now. Fuck it. Because y'all don't respect me no other way. His brain, he's too much of an artist to even do that. I agree. He's too much of an artist to even give you one of them dumbass soda pop You're really underestimating the chip to say that. That chip on the shoulder can be the only thing to Yo, Wale is a rapper, bro. He's an artist, bro. I I don't want us to circle around this a million (laughs) times. All right. Yeah, we can leave it alone. We, We love you, Wale. October Come 22nd on. Yeah 22nd October 22nd For Lauren 2 I can't wait A part of me is real happy That Meek and Wale Are dropping within the same month Of each other That's dope I think that's hard Alright we got the BT Hip Hop Awards See I need to be at a party When this come on I need to be in this club but you won't yeah. This that's strip the, club that, that's the I need thing. to go to DC you man to go to DC. That's it I'm going to DC <laughs> That's it I'm out of here <laughs> Alrighty then It's that time of the year again The BET Hip Hop Awards. I've been talking about this for a little while. It's October, so they are finally here. Now, I haven't heard a word about who's in these ciphers. I'm curious who they're doing this year. Yeah. that probably. But normally we hear a little something about... Some rumblings. I ain't heard nothing. That might be... I don't know. That could be a good thing. That might be dope. I I don't know if that's because they're keeping it tip-top secret or because nobody really knows how to rap anymore. Uh yeah, it's one or the other. But either way, whoever's doing, it, I'm looking forward to it. Hell and yeah. and let me get rid of my uh uh lyrical bougie shit because even when they don't know how to rap, I really enjoy that. Yeah, <laughs> well, because they always sneak someone in there that can that rap can. or surprises couple, couple you that you didn't know it. could rap in that format. Or it looks good. They just stick all the whack niggas with like. Someone fine. Lotto or somebody. <laughs> 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 and I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking, because Lotto did a cipher with somebody. Did I don't you? want the niggas to start attacking me. Yeah, Fabio was in that cipher. Actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we know yeah, how I feel right. about Fabio. Mm-hmm. You better relax. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the ciphers, even though I have not heard a word about it. The BET Hip Hop Awards are airing Tuesday, October 5th, with a fun-filled lineup. And this is their 16th annual BET Hip Hop Awards, hosted by 85 South. See, round of applause. That's super good. Look at the podcast game. Consisting of comedians, DC, Young Fly... Carlos Miller, Chico Bean. I think that's a big deal. I love yeah, it. That's a big deal. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And they're going to do a... I know they're going to do an amazing that's job. That's dope. Well... they funny as shit. They funny, son. Outside of them being real funny, this just tells me that BET is really tuned in. Mm-hmm. That's true. True. Mm-hmm. Making the bold culture move that we be dying for people to make and that we don't typically see. So that's great. Uh, we have Trina, Remy... Jermaine Dupree and Tank all slated to uh, present awards for the nominees. That's great. Shout out to my sister, Rem. Uh, while Young Thug gonna be a little John Baby Keem and Isaiah Rashad take the stage for what should be a real memorable night. Baby Keem seems to be an early favorite. Yeah, I'm excited see, to see Baby Keem. Yeah, yeah, I see a lot of people talking about him. Mm-hmm. I think he's gonna be a star. I hear a lot of people saying that as well. Yeah. He's gonna step into his man's shoes. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, it feels like yeah. Kendrick is... Putting, putting like the chips on the, the table, oh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Like, that's exactly like what it seems. Prepping them. Yeah. Yeah. Man, still feeding them shoes. 
y'all niggas kill you, me. But you get what he, yo, shut up, yo. Hey, that's exactly how had, that's exactly how they got Haramine out here. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they did. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm sure. Sure. I was there for it. I'm I remember. Still here. Yeah. I, yeah. I remember. I remember. Um, but I look forward to this. Uh, rapper and philanthropist Nelly will receive the 2021 I Am Hip Hop Award. I think Big Daddy Kane is presenting an award for uh, Biz Marquis. May he rest in peace. Dope. We miss you, Biz. Nobody beats the Biz. Dope. Also, BET, along with Rock the Bells, founded by L. Cool J, uh, they're debuting a new award, the Rock the Bells Cultural Influence Award. And the recipient in 2021 is none other than Tyler, the creator. Round of applause. Deservedly so. Tyler deserves all the flowers that's coming his way. Absolutely. He's, his album's still in the top. Still an album of Absolutely. the year yeah. for me. That's really what I want to see. I want to see how they break down album of the year, record of the year, song of the year, how anything BET of the does. year. How a BET is going to do yeah. it. Yeah. Because they'll be a little bit more in touch than, mm-hmm. than yeah, Grammys I'm or saying. any of these yeah, other yeah. award shows, for sure. That's true. Yeah. With the shit that we actually like. Who do you, who, <laughs> and that, and again, like I, like what you just said, we got to support that. I agree. That's you true. what I'm saying? We have to support that. I agree. Who, do you have? who else is going to be in tune and, and cater to us? I the agree. only reason why the Grammys and all that shit is what they are is because people, people support yeah, it. People support put it. stock into that. And, yeah, and, that's true. Nah, fuck all that. We gonna support BET. Well, hopefully the support continues for the Hip Hop Awards as well as BET. Hopefully the trend continues of them just doing an amazing job at these award shows. Yeah, they usually kill it. Yeah, yeah, they they they've done a real good job. I look forward to it. Can't wait to see who wins and who does what. And they give me more shit to talk about when I come back in here and talk about the winners and losers. Facts. Sure. And so. good old hanging out on Twitter while the awards is going on is always a good time. Yeah, jokes. Watching yeah. like a family. Do people still do that? Yeah. Oh yes. Hell Live yeah. tweeting. And yo, did y'all hear? Um, they bringing Rap City back. Oh really? For, yeah, they bringing Rap City back. They uh, are for the awards. Yeah. Are they gonna continue to do it after the awards? I don't know. Tigger Tigger posted something on his. Um, I saw that. It's a special. Instagram. It's an hour long special where they're gonna have interviews. They're gonna show like never before seen booth appearances. Okay. Old memories. I hope they show Cam freestyle in the booth. I'm sure they will. They have That's to. One of the most iconic. legendary. Yeah. You know what else about the BET Hip Hop Awards? And the BET Awards and just maybe support from artists toward the BET ceremonies, right? We're in 2021, a few months from 2022. It's a new generation with like younger acts. A lot of them wasn't present for Hove boycotting the Grammys, yeah. Yeah. for acts boycotting the BET Awards. Like they don't know nothing about none of that. That's true. Right. And even these 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 companies, they not they probably not even in the same fights that they were to sure. promote black yeah, acts that's true. and yeah. showcase black acts like they were back then. Bro, hip hop wouldn't even get nominations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I mean, it was then a it re- went from that to them not airing the nominations, right? Because yeah. that was a big thing. That's true. They would hand out our awards before the show at three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, <laughs> and now and now hip hop has transcended every single demo mm-hmm. and is a highlight. Yeah. Yeah, now it's not like we asking for a favor. Yeah, right. anyway. Cardi B is headlining shit yeah. in mainstream white America. Like that's huge. Yeah, you on CBS. Yeah, mm-hmm. channel, come a long way. Two. Yes. <laughs> it, 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 it might not be your grandma's CBS anymore. No, more. <laughs> <laughs> no, they had to catch up. Yeah, like dog. That's that's huge. That's a testament to hip hop. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to this, man. The BET Rap City joint. That's a special. Yeah, it's an hour long special they're doing. It's before or something or after um, or something? I believe it's before because it's going to air October 5th. Yeah. Okay. That's oh, dope, good. I, I wish they would bring it back, like for real. Yeah, you got in that booth? I've been in every booth. You, I don't remember. I've been in shit. every booth. Now I don't remember if you got I've busy. I've been in or all not. of the booths. I don't know if you got busy. If I, I was there, I did. <laughs> <laughs> If I was there, so you be trying to bring rapper Joe back out. There. I don't. I'm trying I'm, to keep yo, this nigga doing in the way. Spe- they're I, doing a special on the niggas that hit the booth. Right. If you flame the booth, you might be in the special. You my guy. I want to see if you in the. Spe- I wasn't trying to be an asshole. It's, they asked me to host this show a few years ago. Talk, I, I'm not trying to shoot at you. It feels that way. <laughs> oh man! I know you were surrounded by criminals recently, <laughs> so now you don't even know what friends and love even feel like. You just take everybody out to get you, Jesus, man. Oh, um, man. Super Bowl. I don't oh, ever remember man. them announcing the Super Bowl halftime show in Week Four. Oh yeah, no, they it's do. A, this I, early? they do it early. 
Really? Do, yes. okay. In week nah, four? Nah, yes. This early. No man. way. Maybe this Novemberish. David, it'd be early. winter. Week four. Week four is early. Week four is really early. But for I mean, this is a good. Re- this is I mean, for this is not reason. a superstar. This is the superstar producer with all of his superstar friends. That is true. <laughs> in California, yeah, in yeah, Southern yeah. California, mm-hmm. yeah. home home game. Super Bowl in SoFi at SoFi Stadium in Englewood, California, Sunday, February thirteenth, two thousand twenty-two, airing on NBC. I'm not going to bother to read the rest of this because Dr. Dre is performing with Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar, Eminem, and Mary J. Blige. Bruh. They had enough of us. Yeah. That's all that's all that no, means. They, they, no, they, yeah. Welp. <laughs> not getting the Dre means. verses anytime soon. <laughs> nah, and uh, shout to my man. My man, uh, Reggie, Dre, and Snoop are his clients. So he he put it on the gram and he was like, um, I just want to get the niggas flowers. He said, this is all Jay-Z's doing. Mm. He said Jay was influential in even bringing this together. It's all him. Well, thanks, Reggie, for breaking that news. Yeah, this is kind of what happened. Wow. This time, I didn't even know how they would manage to pull this together. I think that was together. Jay-Z's job. Yeah, that was. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when they announced when Jay-Z is responsible for the Super Bowl halftime show. But thanks to your man, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> I, get a nigga, I get a nigga to finger down, yo. I don't even get a nigga to finger up. You get the finger yo, down. Yo, I'm hype. Thoughts? I'm hype. Fam, there's nothing uh, to think about. We just talked about how hip hop has basically transcended every single demo. Yeah. Nigga, Fam. You don't get a bigger stage than the Super Bowl. And that's it, right? Hold there. up. We've had rappers perform at the halftime show. We have. In the past. But they were a part of someone else's. I was about to say, this, the first to say time. They have this not been is. The, Hip hop, yeah, yeah. Everybody else take a seat. That is true. Come on, man, give me That's one. True. Give me, give me the button, man. Give yeah. me the button. Ain't no Boo Springsteen coming. Yeah, no, no, there's none of that. There's yeah. none of that. I get it. No, I get it. I agree. Y'all gonna? We, we, we not the same. Wait, why Bruce Springsteen get the shots? That's my man, the Bruce. He's nah, from they do be trying That's to the shove Bruce ass in uh, our face, man. <laughs> get this nigga. Yo, the Super Bowl do always shove yeah. somebody in our face. That's a legend, but yeah. so. <laughs> Yo, this guy is stupid. Yeah, no, that's what it's always. That's what it's been for years. They bring Dolly Parton now to do some yeah. slaps. <laughs> Share, you got to do that. They be trying to touch all demos. You got to touch all demos. Oh, no, you don't but, have to. But keeping it above, this to. touches damn near all demos. I agree. Yo, that was the worst thing in the world that Super Bowl when Beyonce performed. Nah, oh man, what's wrong what with you? Mean you, you got to found on it? Yeah, you bugging now, fam. Bugging the women at the Super Bowl kickback. Took over all the living room. <laughs> so? No. Nah, they did. Nah, they was they like, took yo, over. they yo, said, yo, nah, you don't remember like, the memes? Yo, why not? No, the memes. Yo. They was, was going oh, no, too crazy. Yeah. It was memes like, yo, y'all see the Beyonce performance at some game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, some game. Yo, they was Beyonce's sitting on performing that game. at some game. Damn, I'm Beehive, so I was doing it. I, I'm with them. Nah, they needed to relax. <laughs> they needed to slow down. Beyonce was smoking that shit. But they was going too high. Yo, dog. Taking up all the comfy spots <laughs> on the couch. They was laying out. Yeah. They was bossing niggas around. Joe, get me a blanket. It's like, no, I'm watching it you, too. You go get the nachos, nigga. Yeah, no, nah, they was they bugged out that year. Look at B. Man, she, niggas was in for me. She smoked that. For real. No, she killed it. What's some other one that uh, Bruno, Bruno Mars? Prince. Bruno Mars. Bruno no got I was Prince. like, yo, they just let like Bruno Mars do this shit every that's year. The one. The one. That's, that's the one. one for Prince. Me. Prince. I'm biased. So what? Yeah, you biased. Yeah. You so biased. biased. No, you Bro, know he did the purple rain. Purple guitar, rain. So I know. It started I'm raining. Purple I rain <laughs> happened. I, I listen. No, in not the, the rain. Song. <laughs> I know. And it was purple. It was all of the things. I know. <laughs> God, God put some food color in. Yeah, no, they had the purple lights. Nah, the purple was lights. Crazy. The purple oh, lights. It was purple funny. rain. That shit was crazy. I listen. I, I hear you. I get it. I don't know if you do. No, I do. I do. You not. All right. But this is gonna be. I don't remember that though. This is going to be... I okay. remember this. Who has the biggest song this night? Mm. M. Oh, stop uh, it. Yep. M. Yep. It's funny. I saw people... Or Kendrick. On, I saw... M. Yeah. Yeah. M probably. Or Lose yourself. We're going to be all right. It's going to ring off. Lose yourself. Lose yourself. It's Kendrick Lamar. All right. But Kendrick got two monsters. Nah, but M is no, going to... it's all right. I saw people on Twitter like, yo, what song is this I'm going to play that's going to slap at the Super Bowl? I'm like... His whole shit is yeah. built around like doing stadium fucking and shows. He's gonna, his whole set. Yeah. His whole set. Yeah, this is what he does. But Kendrick's all right. That shit good. Y'all gonna see why they put that in the top 30, top 40 songs ever made. We're gonna yeah. see. 
Because it don't matter the money you put behind that song. It don't matter the amount of times you've seen that video. It don't matter what you even think of the song. When it comes on, you appreciate the message that was sent and how he sent it. Yeah, you forget okay. all that about that other shit. That makes sense. Yeah. So in the midst of hey, all shit, of these, we need that now. In the midst of all of these hits in front of white ass NFL and these white owners after the Kaepernick shit, after all of this, when he plays all right and these mega stars move out the way, I don't want to see them trying to hype man it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't care. I don't care. I know I'm alone in that probably. But I don't. I, I no, hate. Really. That. I, hate I, don't, I don't like that new trend really, unless it's a versus. What the like, Manning of of the from from, from the other star? mega stars, like when you know it's they got to know that that's a moment for Kendrick. I don't want to see Snoop up there. We going. I don't want to see it. I don't. You will probably see it. Yeah, you're gonna see that. You're gonna Maybe see not Mar- though. You might see Mario. When Kendrick does shows, it just be him out there in a fucking samurai outfit doing flips for real. and shit. And that's what I want to see. Yeah, you might get that. Yo, if Kendrick go get contacts for this one, oh my God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> what do you think they come y'all out to? Y'all know what he do when he put contacts in. What do you think they come out to, G-Ten? Oh my God, break my team. Nah. <laughs> they are gonna come out to Mary. Nah. No way. No. Yeah, that's gotta no, come No, is coming later. Yeah. Fam, we're in Inglewood, California. Snoop's coming out. First. Are you? You got? You have them Par- fucked up. Pardon me, bro. Yo, that, that I next, don't want no sauce. That that next episode, Snoop. Snoop yes, comes out. that next episode that, is gonna yes. ring off, boy. Mm, yeah. <laughs> this is what we didn't hear this year at all, and I have a good idea as to why. This year we didn't hear anything about. Oh, they don't pay the artists. Any mm. of the artists that perform at the Super Bowl, they just do it out of love, and then the money goes to their favorite charities. <laughs> hey. They say that shit every year for some strange reason. You think they might have found some coin? And delivered it right to that address. <laughs> in, a, that, in, a, hey. in a dump truck. Hey. Hey, Let me got, tell you something. You got see, it right where it was supposed to go, too. <laughs> you see that shit say Courtesy Rock Nation, right? Mm. They ain't showing up if yeah, the coin nah. ain't there. Yo. Yeah. yeah. They found a lot of coins. Shit oh, shit. Flat yeah. whole bag of money they right here. Right by Dre's ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 kept, they kept that truck moving. Nope. No, nope, she's not. She's, she's not the destination. No, no, no. We're gonna keep this one going. They got everybody yeah, in the Pepsi nah. Blue too. Yeah, Fam. there's some Dre just spread. standing in the middle, looking like Galactus. Yeah. Is it Pepsi Blue or is that Jay Z Blue? Mm. It might be Dre mm. Blue. Dre Blue. Crip Blue. Mm. Nigga, could be. Hov should walk out for still Dre. I know he's not because he's old. <laughs> yeah, 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 but, but still. if Hov just walk out and do the little mama on it and these dudes just stand there with his arms <laughs> folded, this is gonna yeah. be great. I might buy a TV. Fair. I'm sorry, I might buy a TV for this. Why, yo, why we so, can't just buy you have like a why we just can't TV? buy tickets? Nah, nah, they put out some 20k shit the other day. I seen it. <laughs> yo, <you laughs> shit, shit said 20k. <laughs> you could go to Inglewood, huh? You could go to Inglewood, Inglewood, New Jersey, <laughs> California. Oh, go to watch the oh, game? Could I go there? They mean like, yeah, oh, you good out there? there? You good? Like, oh, can, I don't can know. You touch, yeah. Can you touch soil out there? I'd, yeah. I'd probably watch the colors on there, but I would go. All right, cool. So call Crooked and tell them. You know what would make this great? I know it's not going to happen, but what would we make could go to this the Super great? Bowl, fan. It would be if the Steelers went. With I don't want to go to the Being a super Steeler fan, I love it. So you do shit. No, I'm like, nah, never going to, to the Super Bowl. I'm good. I'm with, I, I might rather watch it on TV. Yeah, I am not going to the Super Bowl. I never want to go to the Super Bowl. I don't want to go to the Super Bowl. Yo, I don't even like talking to people two weeks before that's going to the Super Bowl or a month before. They sound so stupid. Everything is, yeah, I'm about to head out to the Super Bowl. I'm about to, yeah, I'm going to go a couple early. I'm probably on a Thursday. I'm like, fam, nobody's talking about the Super Bowl. <laughs> it's just too congested. Yeah. Yeah, you just a, you don't. Like I would do people. the parties at the Super Bowl before I go to that. You don't be liking people. You don't like crowded spaces. Seriously, that's not a. I'm like, not a lot saying, of people don't like that though. What I'm saying, I'm not saying it, it's a bad thing. It's just a personal preference. I don't know that I ever want to go to a Super Bowl. Yeah, I like not, to get my the wings team could be and the there. pizza I don't go to and the, the chips Bowl. and I like that whole thing. I don't know if I want to go to a Super Bowl. A Super Bowl party. Super Bowl beats the Super party Bowl. is the thing. Yeah, going to the Super Bowl. You know what has to happen for that to be cool. I gotta and be fun. in the game. You gotta, you gotta, no, you gotta, gotta like football. You gotta be invited. Yeah, you, gotta, well, you gotta know where the, the dope parties are. Yeah, you gotta know where the good, good parties are. Come on, ish. You gotta get the good. I'm, I'm listening. You, you gotta you get the good booth so you can actually see the game on a TV in the good booth. Which you around the right people. Yeah, because that's important. You gotta have a right seat. Yeah. Yo, listen to these bougie ass. That's niggas not bougie. That's like bougie. This is like noodles. Nigga, it is the fuck. 
You would rather sit at the game in a stadium with being in 64 D. It's not fly. I, I can't see. I can't hear the commentary. I'm just there because I want to show people Bowl. I'm here. Yeah. You ever been to a football game? Absolutely. Yes. yes. So you look at it the same? No. Okay. I'm and football games ain't the most fun unless you get a really good seat or something. Like, okay. Well, you enjoy them games because, like, you be wearing, like, the Zach Martin jerseys. Like, you go <laughs> all in. You I do that. Cowboys lunchbox. I do that. Like, you you tailgate with your That's trunk. Fun. Ice definitely does the, all that. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just, I, I, yeah, yeah. Tailgating to, is fun. I do all that shit, though. I'm head to toe steel again, multiple terrible towels. Well, we out just, there looking stupid. But he won't go sit at a football game. No, no, no. I didn't say a football game. I said the Super Bowl, the ultimate football game. Yeah. The it's, ultimate football game. <laughs> okay. That makes sense, I guess. It do. I, I said, okay. I don't I would do the I would do the festivities in the area and the party before I would prefer to sit in there and watch. Wait, the so you're telling me I'm gonna be let me just play this out with me. I'll try to speed this up so we can move on. I'm gonna be home alone and say to myself, Hey, where are two hundred thousand people just gonna go and be? And I should join them. <laughs> I should join those two hundred thousand K. People. <laughs> the same nigga that just said, y'all want to go to Carnival. Nigga, that's... It's the same mindset. Don't do that. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't do that, ish. Ish, Yo, I ish, know you just ish, came home. Ish. <laughs> no, no, no. Because he just... No, you just came you, home. Because he just came home, he no, should understand no, more. No, because you just came home, we gonna let that ride. No, we not. No, you get, just get, came get, home, get you should over. really understand more. That nigga, no, no, no. They was out of muffins. He tried to get muffins on his way here. They was out of muffins. He just, <laughs> so he just swing. He just baking you shit. You just compared the Super Bowl to Carnival? I didn't compare Ish, don't the do two. It. He said, yo, you're sitting at home and you say, where can I go where there's 200,000 people? Yo, you just... think it's a Super Bowl? They be wearing that shit? You want me to tell you what I say about it's Carnival? It, the whole, <laughs> it's in LA. Uh huh. It's Groupie City. Uh huh. They're going to be wearing that shit, nigga. Not that. Not that. Yo, no, they're not. Yeah. Ish. Nigga, they damn near wear that now. Ish. <laughs> Ish. Bug, you're bugging. Ish. Them bitches, you're they're going to be wearing football Ish. jerseys, bro. Ish. No, they not. No, they not. Them bitches going to be like, damn. such and such going to be here. Yeah. Yo, crazy. and let me dispel this while we're at it, too. It's crazy. Hoeing in different cities is different. So in LA, sure. again, if you're not in the know mm-hmm. and you can't move around in the know, then you you're going to be, be bumping your fucking head on a sidewalk thinking that you're going to meet some hoes. I know. Or any good ones. I'm about to say, you'll meet some, but <laughs> it ain't going to well, be what you do. You're going to be right there at Saddle Ranch <laughs> sitting, sitting right in the bowl watching the game. <laughs> hey. I don't even know what that, that means, but that, okay. That's the loser that's at the, uh, that's at the lobby bar partying every time I go down there. I go down in the morning and get some coffee. He out there looking stupid. <laughs> Wait, waiting to see who come down from the room. Look at Dodo in the face. Go back up, come down for lunch. He's still down there pacing around. Nigga, get a plan. <laughs> I don't even know what he's talking I'm about. I'm saying the nigga that just playing the lobby of the hotel, 12 hours, waiting to catch something slipping. Yep. Any scraggler. She coming from your room. She go into a room. It's 3 a.m. She, she don't stay it's 3 here. He on the balcony all day. It's snowing. <laughs> like, <laughs> nigga, nigga why, why you ain't got a plan? The girls you with, can you walk me to the elevator? That guy has been looking at me, following me. Like, <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. You know the fucking guy. But anyway, Carnival now. It's a little different. You'll make some, <laughs> it's a lot different. You can make some arrangements. Yo. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't get that one. Carnival, I'm not going... Cause I know what I already. <laughs> you don't need to. I be ain't there. gonna go. Cause I already know. Yeah. Yo, you think they're gonna bring out fifty? Someone gonna bring out fifty? No. Really? Um, Too busy producing TV shows to come out and give them the club. That might not be bad. Yo, I don't think so. Before we get off of music, my man is back. Full length. Hold up, my man is back. How we talk about albums? Then get to I my know. man. Hey, issue you just came home. Just vibe out real quick. Hold up. Yo, see, I don't understand Spanish at all, <laughs> but that's how I know he know he the man. <laughs> he ignoring the, the powerful dancing drums and all that, and he just, get, yo, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I told you niggas I had more eat on the way. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> They spinning. They spinning. Uh oh, yo. They spinning. Y'all right don't there. understand it. Yo, yeah. Stefan, go get the hookah. Yeah, please. Yo, can I get a, a mint and coconut mix, please? With a pineapple head. 
Oh, I hear, I hear the clap. <laughs> Man, listen, I already know what's going to happen. Bro. You don't have to tell me. Oh, shit. Fam. Hey, and if you don't know what's going to happen, just go to any of them uh, uh, tall apartment buildings with no elevator in the Bronx right now. Four o'clock. <laughs> Four o'clock right now. <laughs> they windows is open. You yeah. can hear it. Yeah. I already know no, what's going on. They on the sidewalk. No, yeah, they're they're on the sidewalk. Sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, this is happening. Y'all, you'll be you chairs. Up. No, no, and you're going to walk around. Oh, yeah. You're going to walk around. You ain't going to walk through the groove. I dare you walk through that groove. Yo, this dude is the man. Yeah. I ain't even going to get up nah, and dance and do all music. of that. But nah, that's good music. That shit was that dude, that dude is yeah, the man. Goes. That shit dope. Um, what else? Yo, they is... got the hookah on the dance floor. No, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Yo. Yo. They just holding it. Hey, Faruko, if you're listening to this, Call me, man. I want to be in your next video. <laughs> no, he's dead serious, too. No, not for real. He's not joking. I could do all of this stuff. <laughs> oh, man. You joke that ass. Yeah, no, nah, I'm going to this. Man, Hopefully, shit. it's in Miami. You shit, no matter where, 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 where it is. Where I don't that? care where it is. That shit could be an indictment. It could be man. in an, an, Antarctica. Jackson Heights will be there. Mm, man. I don't care where it is. This plane going to get us to Antarctica. Oh, man. going to fly right there. Playing around with that Faruko boy. Yeah, man. Don't, don't play with him. He He's the man. That's him. The wild shit is I can see Joe in the video. That's what makes it funny. With the Eskimo pussy. Faruko, <laughs> if you are listening to this, I want to be in the video and at the after party of the video. <laughs> and at the pre-game. The pre-party. The pre-party. The pre-party. The pre-party. The pre-party. The video. I mean, I think I can get my permission. Hey, what you doing the week yeah. after? We can hang. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can open up for him. Yeah, I'll just go do a pod wherever you at. God yeah. <laughs> Bl- blame it on the work. Free pod for Faruko. That's what y'all keep trying to do. Mm. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all trying to pod anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave Chappelle announces a new Netflix stand-up special October 5th. That's Tuesday, same day as the BET Hip Hop Awards. We got a lot of action mm. on Tuesday. Yeah, we do. Closer. Mm. And that's all, that's all I got on this. I wonder if it's his last one. The Closer yeah. sounds like it. No, I mean the last one with his current contract. Oh, was it the contract? For, was it for this is number six? Yeah, I think it, I thought it was six. I it could might be, wrong. be. No, this might be a six special. I don't know if that's the sixth in that particular contract. We don't care. Google it. Yeah, yeah it whatever. Even matter. Google it. Look it up. I'm uh, fucking hype. I'm hype about it. Yeah, I'm hype. I'm excited. Dave is one of the people that could drop and not really tell me anything that he's going to talk about, and I'm still going to be excited. Matter. And with the climate of everything that's been going on, he got a lot of shit to talk about. No doubt. That only he can turn into that. Funny, serious bag. I'm hype, man. Even on the trailer, though, they was talking about, uh, uh, he was talking about, you know, just hate having to tell him jokes in, at this time. Yeah. When he do that, I'm in. That's yeah, when the, yeah, yeah, that's when the guy's yeah. about to say, that's mm-hmm. when the genius come out. He's uh, the best. He's best, the best, best, we best artist of our generation. Moments. What? Like, when Dave does this, it's a moment for me. Like, it's a few people that, when they just announce that something is coming... Shit gotta stop. Yeah. Tuesday, yeah. shit gonna have to stop so we can hear what Dave That's Chappelle right. has to say. And if this is his last uh last special with Netflix, it ain't. No, nah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. way. Yeah. This uh, might be the last Mr. one. Chappelle. Yeah. 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 Mr. Chappelle. Mr. Chappelle, here's the blank check. <laughs> right, right. You write right the number. Whatever in you there want, and let's sir. go. That's I'll, funny. I'll tell you who, who ain't letting Dave walk That's out funny. the door, especially with Eddie Murphy locked in over there at Amazon. Mm, right. You think Netflix don't see what's going on? Uh, I want to shout out to the Squid Game. Uh, it's reported that they are on track to be the highest viewed show in Netflix history. That's crazy. Mm. Uh, I'm going to hit round of applause. I can believe that. I, I saw what Yao show. Ming did to the NBA. Mm. Oh, yeah I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I understand it. Mm. Hey, as a rookie, he beat Shaq. He was starting. <laughs> Shaq, Shaq was tight. Uh, I, I still ain't watching it. Speaking of um, shows Yo, and shit, shout, shout out to 50. They already um, renewed BMF for season two. Damn. After, after, after one, one episode. episode. Hey, dog, 50 owned stars. <laughs> like, 50 owned stars. Sure. They could do whatever you want over there. I love it. I a- as it should be. I yeah, totally agree. When, when you, when you when perform you, at a high clip. And you put the network on your back. Nobody didn't know what stars was. We wasn't was. thinking about stars. We didn't kill about Power stars. came. Word. I agree. He, he, he had us renewing our star subscription. <laughs> like, yeah, fucking $7, I got you, bro. You hear that bullshit? Hey, Netflix popped up on my screen yesterday before I clicked the Britney, Britney Spears, Britney versus Spears doc. Talking about, hey, October 1, up in this bad boy to $18 on you. Ooh. Oh, they did? 18 Yeah. 
That's what they told me. 18. I remember when Netflix was 9.99. Yep. All it said was okay, too. It didn't say. <laughs> oh. We can't negotiate here. <laughs> it didn't say for more info. <laughs> right. To, to get help Nigga, understanding. Uh, it just said, okay. You can't hey. watch nothing until you click that okay. Hey, what Marlo told him, I niggas? clicked it. Yo, price of the brick going up. Definitely did. But, 30 yeah. more. Fat Joe said that's fucking stupid shit. Now everybody raising the price out there. It's <laughs> all Fat Joe fault. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, shout out to Dave. Uh, shout out to Netflix. Shout out to that uh, shorty. Uh, I don't know her name, of course, but the young lady who was one of the finalists on Squid Game. Like she got like ten million Instagram followers oh, uh, out the blue. Damn. Like she was at four fifty, oh, and now damn. she's at ten million. Damn, fast. <laughs> but she's a model, beautiful girl. Mm. I still ain't watched that shit yet. Me either. Yeah, me neither. I started. I, the first it sounded episode. too sawish to me, but. Yeah, it did. I'm, I'm just hearing so many people tell me it's good. Like, I know. Yeah. Somebody told me. I know, but before any of them told you. It was Joe. It was Joe. Bro, I give you your props when hey, you dog, told me They were talking good. about this shit in the bullpen. No, you don't. If you don't, <laughs> like, you don't, if you don't watch it. They were talking about it in the bullpen. <laughs> now they was. They were playing squid games in the bullpen. I'm dead ass serious. What did they say? Want to play something? No. <laughs> Want to play, play a game? They said that they broke it down into something different than what you said. They was like, the shit really is a reflection of today. Mm. Like on a deeper level, like outside of the saw shit. That's I why I don't go to jail. <laughs> that right there is why I stay out of jail. The philosophy they too deep. They philosophers out. They too deep in there. Yo, dog, you didn't even see this shit. You serving life. <laughs> no asshole in the bullpen. No, you got bullpen life. <laughs> you got bullpen. Yeah, you know Yo, the nigga who like, foul. <laughs> yeah, you're not leaving. You beefing with the cops. They keep they keep shuffling the fouls, putting yours at the bottom. <laughs> oh my god, yo. <laughs> Yeah, when they don't like you in there, you ain't getting out. You just going to sit there. Enjoy Word. your little sandwich. Word. What do they serve for lunch in there now? They fed you? What is it now? It depends on the day. Well, nigga, the day you was in there. That shit changes. <laughs> ice, ice. <laughs> we talking about what we talking about, nigga. Fuck, you was there for Taco Tuesday, Tuesday man? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> Fuck. And gave somebody a taco. <laughs> Yo. Damn, man. <laughs> nigga took your taco, little 16-year-old killer. <laughs> He's like, Yo, G, you don't eat that right? <laughs> I'm asking it, did that happen? No. What was the question? You could say no. Man. We want to know what you what, what the food was. What Tuesday? They, they let have... you keep your milk. Tuesday they had fish. Oh, that's you good for fish. you. Yeah, oh, was, good, good, good thing you got locked up on Tuesday, huh? That's not fish. <laughs> It, it wasn't, wasn't fish. fish. It was fish sticks. I don't know what it was. Oh, it was fishy. It, it wasn't none of my fish. <laughs> it was fishy. <laughs> Went Wednesday they had beef patties for lunch. What happened anytime you was laying down getting some sleep and a nigga tapped you and said move? That, that didn't happen, so I wouldn't know. Mm. All right, what he said? Get up? No. Nobody Excuse tapped you? anything. Yo, you can't sleep right now, Nobody dog? Nobody tapped nothing. Stand up. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> stand up. Stand up. All right, what bunk they let you get? It wasn't no bunks. Oh, he made you stand up and sleep. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> stand up. Yo, slept wait, on the floor. Wait, he said both bunks is mine? Ain't no bunks. Nah, what Damn. he was in for? They not in the cells. Them niggas is in the dorms, bro. It's just wide open in the dorms. Oh, wait, you was in the big shit? Niggas with six, all them niggas? It's 60 niggas to a room. God damn. With a cot. You get a cot, nigga. So who got the cot? cot? Everybody got their own individual car, asshole. But where, <laughs> but where did you put yours? In the corner. Oh, I'm asking you where you put your car. You just shit up against the wall, didn't you? Man. So you can, anyway. <laughs> yeah, this shit up against the wall. So he, that nigga stood his shit up. <laughs> <laughs> nigga had his back to the mattress. Standing. In the corner. Wow. <laughs> he was in there building a house out the little car. <laughs> <laughs> yo, let me get your cot if we put these things together. Um, yo, man. man, fuck with the yo, vision. We could all eat. Yo, we could build a three family. <laughs> Not a three family cot to keep y'all oh, safe in there. Hardwood yeah. floors out of the cots and shit. No, nah, that's crazy. Oh, man. No, nah, that's craziness. Oh, man. This is oh, stupid, man. yo. They give you hot sauce at least for the, the bad fish? No, nah, tell me about when you woke up in the middle of the night. I ain't really sleep. <laughs> <laughs> No, that young nigga had him shook. That's why. Yeah, them niggas was in there spitting Fabio lyrics at his head. <laughs> and you in there with light skin, and, with and you light know, eyes too. And you know, in there like, wait, who's that? I don't know. I don't know him. I don't know who that is. <laughs> nah, I see why you didn't go to sleep, son. That nigga, man, man, you, he was you, looking you, at this I don't know if I was sleeping sleep. there too. Man, he light skin with green eyes. That. He wasn't going to sleep. What Fabio lyric they spit at you? Come to the side and we're gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you can't. You ain't be 
nigga, you come, you trying to come home, bro. I feel you. That's what's on your mind, yo. When that money post. <sighs> That's all you think about. You posted a few other niggas' bills too, I heard. Nah, you ain't hear none of that. <laughs> yo, yo, OG, give me two. Yo. Hey, yo, 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 nah, nah, he's not coming out yet. He got mine too. No, he's not coming out yet. He got mine. I heard you let a few niggas skip you in the go home. In the go home line. Nah, he been in here a long time. His family is out there. Nah, go ahead. They, they in need. They use, they use your phone, didn't they? I'm trying to pay it forward. I know they use your phone. What phone? He was like, yo, you don't have no phone, ass. You been locked up before? Nigga, no. <laughs> okay. No, no, sir. Right. Never in the joint where it's 60 of these felons. <laughs> <laughs> I might never jaywalk again. <laughs> Are you fucking Boy. kidding me? You paid Crazy? all my parking tickets. Nah, dog, you can have that. Yeah, you can have that. Nah, that shit. They put me in the famous cell. With oh. <laughs> Yeah, I bet you wish you had to pump it up then. <laughs> <laughs> Focus, man. <laughs> that nigga was in there trying to put on his pod voice, hoping somebody heard it. He was trying to talk about the albums that you dropped. Look, look, look. You called them jokers in there? Yes, you did. They did, though. You cracked some muffins? Nigga was trying to drop all his Newark old head <laughs> names. <laughs> You in New York. <laughs> so? <laughs> Hopefully. New York. Old head names. Where you was in Newark in 83, where you was moving then? To some 20 Oh, then you know, rolls. you know, um, Rob Brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that shit Ish be doing with us. He's like, yo, what's his name? You know, you know, what's his name? We don't know. Rob Brother. No, yeah. oh, All right, man. what happened when, uh, what happened when, uh, CO came to the big, um, the big cell, the big playpen cell. That's a big cell. <laughs> playpen. <laughs> playpen. <laughs> the big the the playpen bullpen. And was like, uh, Antoine, you're going home soon. And it was like another seven hours left. How was your stay then? Like They don't do that. They, they were gracious. They, they separate you on the go homes. So you just be in cell with niggas that's going home. They was happy in there. Yeah, what y'all talked about in there. They was so happy. What you gonna do when you get out? <laughs> 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 nah, don't don't do that because that'd be the fun part. Y'all all going home together, Family's so y'all both part. y'all all have this like sigh of relief, and y'all all are sharing with each other. But you know you're never gonna see this nigga again in your life. Mm. It's like a kind of sad moment a little bit. Like oh shit, you live right there. I used to be. Damn, I don't. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna hit you. Did y'all hug? What are you talking about? <laughs> Yo, you stupid, though. Did you take a shower in there? No? Yeah. No. Oh, we're just asking questions. Yeah. I don't know nothing about it. So. Me either. It's cool. Hopefully, you don't find out. Right. Knock on something. You too. <laughs> yeah, he was in there making friends with the little shooters. Smart. It was enough of them in there. Nah, Let me shut up, because nah, I'll nah. be, I be the nigga to end up right or right for something stupid one day. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Hey, hey, Joe Button, we heard them jokes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you want pump, pump, nigga? Nah, I, that's why I did my crime in Jersey, man. Jer- Jersey was cool. Y'all yeah, playing in New different. York. Yeah, that shit. They don't different. care nothing about them jails, them floors, fuck, them bro. conditions. Bro, that shit was. It was rats. So and listen, shit, man. all y'all ish fans out there, man. Yeah. Hashtag close Rikers down. <laughs> close it down, yo. Yo, you it stupid. Shouldn't even yo. be up. Nah, for real. Yo, these guys are for fun. real, man. <sighs> Uh, what else happened that we need to talk about? Ashanti got a master's Ashanti back. Round master's of applause. Back. Hey. Ashanti got her master's back and says now she is planning on re-recording her debut album. I was really confused by that. Why? Because if you got your master's, why would you re-record it? You own the master's, though. Uh, it's yours. He's right. You That's ain't got to re-record it. You don't got to re-record because the old original shit comes to you. Right. I was just confused. Maybe there's something point. in there. Oh, that's yeah. a great point. I feel like there might be something in there with streaming or just to maybe put new eyes on your old stuff now that it's yours. Or maybe you just treat it different now that it's yours. I don't know. I have no idea, but I'm happy that she got it. Absolutely. I do not want to hear anybody re-record their old songs. I mean, that's kind of what I'm getting at, too. I don't, I don't want to hear it, but I'm happy for her. And and if that's her plan, I hope it works. I mean, <clears throat> if you listen to the... Um, the Money Bag Yo, a uh, Waikisha remix with Wayne and Ashanti on it, mm. which she kind of, because it's you know samples one of her older um, uh, records, uh-huh. Foolish. She and she she sings and does a new verse. She don't sound too bad. Nah, she sounded great. Yeah, at the like yeah. I'm, I'm, the verses, if you are gonna great. do it, I would rather be somebody that don't sound bad doing it. Right. See, my thing with that is you own your master, so if you re-record it, it's for a financial come up. 
right? So I get why they're doing it. Uh-huh. But if you already own your masters, just put out some new material. All right, that's that's. That's Don't unless you're gonna put a new verse on an old joint or have a feature on an old joint, something like that to reintroduce I could see, yourself. Do it a deluxe yeah, type she, of thing. Like she hasn't had music version. in so long, you might want to reintroduce yourself to the world. So I get yeah. it, but you just doing it damn near in its original form, and yeah, you own the masters. Eh. I don't see the point. Yeah, I don't but see it either. maybe it's something I'm not hip to. But congratulations. Or on maybe she got. Other masters and not that album. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's possible. No, they talking about her first album, which was no. I'm saying platinum. that's the album that she's recording, that she's re-recording. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying well, I don't know, to, but that would make it make sense then. If I got, I got everything here, else, yeah. but I don't have my debut, maybe I can re-record that one because she did say this is the only one that she's looking to re-record. It's not like I'm doing all my stuff over, just this album, first album. Yes, that's the one that was triple platinum. Correct. That's the one she got. That's the one she re-recorded. It didn't say that. It doesn't say that. She got. It just says you got a master's. It just says... So we assume that she yeah. got all her master's. Like her statement says... Oh, can you just go back down? It's, it's so surreal. I have an amazing legal team, and I got my first record deal when I was 14 years old. So understanding, understanding and seeing how things have changed so much from then to now, and conceptually understanding what you're signing is so imperative. It's so important nowadays. The fact that I'll be able to re-record my first album and put everything together. Mm-hmm. So it's not saying that... Keep going. Go to the third paragraph. It just says what her album... Go to the third paragraph. Her, her, her triple platinum album includes the hit singles Baby, Happy, and of course Foolish. In terms of gaining Damn. this freedom, the 40-year-old shared, it's mm-hmm. so humbling. She gained the freedom of getting that album. We don't... It's all right. It's interpretation. We, we ain't gonna got it. She, it, it, there's a reason, like you said, if she owns her masters, why re-record that album? That's cool. Shout, it's, shout to you. So it, we'll it's semantic squad. <laughs> no, we're it's trying to get to the bottom squad. of it. No, we don't. I mean, shout to her either way. Absolutely. Yeah. She's Absolutely. happy. We're happy. I guess. I'm gonna listen to it. See what it sounds like. If she's happy, we're happy. Yeah, that's a Joe Budden response. <laughs> we love her. I, I would say something like that. Absolutely. Oh, She's wow. happy. We're happy. Ashanti, friend of the show. We love her. <laughs> That's you. That's you. I'll take it. Um, what else is important? What else is important? Round of applause. <laughs> it's a happy day out there for all us tricks. <laughs> huh? Cash what? App, huh? Zell, and Venmo will be 1099ing you if you receive more than six hundred dollars oh, look at via that. these apps in see sometimes a year. when we speak things into fruition it works out for everybody. See? It's not always see? negative. We use our powers for good. Yeah. Spoke about ten ninety nine and the powers that be. Said no we got you. You didn't have to have the uncomfortable conversation. Said, fuck it's these, just coming. Fuck these chicks. We got you. <laughs> we gonna get it done. So let me repeat that for the slow people out there. Cause when I presented that to people they was like I said, yo, Cash App, they about to start 1099. And it's like, I'll just use Venmo. No, Venmo too, boo. I'll just use Zell. all of them. <laughs> you can't escape. More than 600 a year. Not a month, not a week, a year. That's the threshold. It's a thug's holiday. No, it's going to be hard, though. It's a thug's holiday it's out gonna here. It's going to be a mess. Why you say that? Because $600 ain't a lot of money. True. Right? So again, I could send you six hundred. You could send me whatever the case may be. I could send Park six hundred dollars to pay something for me. Mm. Now he got to get a ten ninety nine. Pam, people got their no, stimulus to cash out over six hundred. That's what, you get what I'm saying though. Like yeah, buddy, pe- people yeah. got their stimulus checks through cash out. So like even that, the, I got to get a ten ninety nine. Just anything. Y'all cool. thought the government was gonna give away all that money and not get none of it back? Well, they ain't mm. give none of that away. No, they gave money. Well, they didn't. No. Why, Why is it that? Fam, all, that was a front. Like, yo, we're going to front you this. It's doing your taxes. It's it's, coming, it's, out of, it's part of your early refund. Oh, you're talking about the little stimulus The stimulus break. checks. That unemployment money wasn't no motherfucking front. I'm not talking about unemployment. He said you thought the government was going to give you money. Yeah, they not giving you Well, I just shit. meant the money they give you. How would they give it to you? It wasn't giving you no break. Well, I'm, all them stimulus checks everybody got was not the government just saying here. It was here, basically a loan on, against your... Against your tax, your, your, your returns. Yeah. Your refund, I should say. That's what that was. All right, well, they don't want to loan you shit. <laughs> nah, they ain't. Not at all. Never. 
I'm just reporting the news. Don't I lash out at me. But it was something else that not, said. I didn't make this up. That the United States is talking I, about they may possibly run out of cash October 18th. I saw that headline. I didn't read it. I don't know what that shit means. I was just like, how do you, how the fuck you do that? I saw it too, but I'll, I'll try not to get important stuff from Worldstar. Nah, I, World <laughs> I don't know. Worldstar telling me what's going on with the currency. When the shave room <laughs> like, starts talking damn. about the coin. <laughs> Global economics yeah, from well, Worldstar. We are, we are in some <laughs> trouble. <laughs> I don't know what it means either. Me either. I'll let smarter people yeah, handle that, that topic. Saying it. Oh, man. They, yeah, go to CNN and see what they say. Because we don't know shit. Now they going to run out of something they print. <laughs> That's like when the shake machine broke at McDonald's. Just go ahead and fix the machine. <laughs> it's probably just unplugged. I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Hey, what's wrong with your little money printer? <laughs> hey, go order get, order get, another one. Get some more ink. Hey. <laughs> go to Amazon. Right. They got it. <laughs> Amazon got a money printer? No question. $9.99. <laughs> Prime. The next day you'll get that Prime. <laughs> Prime. <laughs> Prime right to D.C. Yeah. Amazon is the fucking money They're printer. Yeah, them niggas is the greatest. Yo, when when you started ordering things and it came two hours later to your door, you, you should have known what time it hooked. was. Yeah, Fam, that hooked. shit, I ordered something last night and it was, first estimate was Monday. That shit is out for delivery. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. Playing. They don't play. Like, they got me hooked. Yeah. That shit is. Like, I, if yeah. I don't find it on Amazon, I half the time don't want it. That shit is something different. It's easy for the companies to get you hooked. Yeah, it is. They get convenience. Me. Yeah, yeah, convenience. yeah a little convenience yeah. to do the trade. Convenience get gets me every time. Apple, that's how Apple Pay got me. I don't shop at stores if they don't accept Apple Pay now. Not too many stores don't have Apple. Even the Vegas got Apple Pay. It's a lot of places that don't. I be at the register like, yo, y'all take Apple Pay? No, I look at them like they aliens. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? They all got I'm it. I'm like, yo, my wallet is in a car somewhere. I don't know where my wallet at. I look at y'all like aliens for paying with Apple Pay. Man, Why? that's the best. I shit know in the world. people. I click two times so on the watch, yeah. wave it, and leave. I'm good. I'm yo. scared of that shit. Why? We old though. I know. What's scary about it? Too? Yeah. What's scary about that? You get the same shit as using your credit card. It's the exact same shit. If I find one of the wormholes in the planet, I'm gonna let you know where it is. We gonna leave. Oh, yeah. Yo, oh, man, I'm, I'm so sad that fucking Neil deGrasse Tyson had a technical difficulty last night. Because that's exactly what I wanted to talk to him about. Yeah, the Apple Pay. How we getting the, out of here? No, the wormhole. Uh, it's not fucking Apple Pay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, how we getting the fuck out of here? I had a good question for him. I bet you did. Oh my god, is there like a rescheduled date? Yeah. Yo. Okay. Yeah. That nigga's gonna tear your ass. Up. Nah, he probably would have been like, tear me up. In what? I wasn't bringing no muffins nah, out I'm around not, him. No, <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's the nigga you need hey, the oven closed. Go ahead, nigga on the plate. Go ahead and try to. Ain't no, ain't no oven around. Not, not right. one. No, no, nah, no. Nah, I ain't nah, playing nah. with bakeries him. closed that day. Smart, I'm just here to learn, sir. Smartest motherfucker on the planet. He's up there. No, he's, but he's but and seem like like we'll let you know. Oh yeah, oh, he like I was, watch, I was watching some shit with him uh, the other day, and he's talking. He's talking casually to this guy that was too excited to be talking to him, and he was like, "Uh, yeah, that was the, um, and that's what happened in um, the earlier months." And then the guy started laughing. He said, "He's in court himself." He said, "Pardon me, uh, month, the month," and the guy said. No, nah, I see what you was doing there. You took the moon and month, and you could buy. See what was going on, and he said. No, it's just the origin of the word. <laughs> I looked up my little Google. <laughs> I said, all of, all of my years of schooling, all, all ten of them. All, all of your of astrology. <laughs> fucking I ain't learned that Latin root. I never knew month was from moon. Yeah, from the moon. Hey, Joe, where do you think Monday came from? I never thought about Yo, that because I get chill, bitches. Chill, I chill. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love. <laughs> and I try to, oh, look at I ain't trying to shame you. I ain't trying to, try to shame you. I'm just asking a question. Ice, let me tell you what I've never thought about. What, what? Monday came the from? fuck is he talking about? <laughs> what well, Wednesday mean this? <laughs> Smart <ass. laughs> <laughs> what Tuesday what came Tuesday from, man? nigga? The tools? <laughs> okay, that was for couples day, but it was twos of things. Two of them. It's how to celebrate there being twos of things. You tell about your wins on Wednesday? Yeah, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> How the motherfuckers big up Neil deGrasse? Oh, man. I know you I, had some dumbass questions for him. Oh, I, my gracious, yo. What were some of the questions so you had? Stupid, son. Well, he's, he's going to reschedule. Ice, but... ice. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah, you got to reschedule. Ice and Parks. Since you want to throw your name in it, now you in it now. Ice, yeah, okay. Ice and Parks. You a producer, so you know how, like, 
when a producer gets with a uh, like a B or C level artist, he might not play him the goods, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm not gonna tell Tyson Park <laughs> my Neil I deGrasse Tyson. Yep. You don't think Ice is accomplished academically? No, he's not Neil, Neil deGrasse. I ain't Ice Neil deGrasse. <laughs> I ain't Neil deGrasse. Nothing. <laughs> what, what, what academic? No, no, no. Academic. No, no. Oh, hold the fuck up now. We ain't going to play that game. No, no. He's when the you, smartest you, I know nigga that. on the planet. I agree Who? with you. Neil. Neil. He's oh, been yeah, arguably no, considered the smartest man on the planet. Wait, he's who, an who, astrophysicist. Wait, who, who argued with him? <laughs> no. Yeah, ain't nobody arguing with him. I said Ice is academic level. And I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, nigga, yeah, don't play not, me. Yeah, don't no, play not, me, nigga. Nigga, you could have went to Harvard and I, got a master's, and you still can't hold the candle to that nigga. I'm not saying I can hold a candle to him. Oh, you don't say, don't say ice is academic ice. level with the uh, in your voice. Yeah, either, yeah, he put a little too much. We're not going to do that, um, though. That's not, what I'm saying. Not fresh from Rikers, nigga. You just came <laughs> home. <laughs> you know what that does. Because you ain't called none of them stupid. <laughs> you, <laughs> you yeah, why you ain't call those 16 year old niggas stupid? He's still supposed to be in Cause, school. Cause you was in there. Why you ain't call him stupid? I have to shake on him. Now, Ice was in there like, yo, where did you learn that? <laughs> and Ice, I disagree with Ish. Like, I I seen you on them wiggy cookies. I seen you kneel in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Drum roll, please. Fucking <laughs> 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 super cookies. <laughs> I seen you kneel uh, in the grass. I got the worst wiggy cookies no, no, ever, no. man. What I, see, I, see, I, see, I seen you kneel in the grass. <laughs> you seen me face down <laughs> in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> like Tyson. No, that, was, that wasn't even grass. <laughs> like before Tyson. That wasn't even grass. That's uh, kneel in the grass for Tyson. Cobblestone. No, not Ice being Neil deGrasse Fort Tyson. <laughs> Yo. I'm going to laugh at that all week. I might even call you to laugh. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of funny on the low. What else is going on? What else is going on? Uh, I told you about Zell and all of that. Uh, they can't find Wendy Williams. <laughs> I don't care. Wait, what? Huh? You lost me with that one. I don't. And you when y'all do that, I gotta deliver the Wendy Williams news, and I don't want to be that guy. So what? you bought it up. You you bought it up, it up nigga. Nigga. Boy, you got three phones. <laughs> Your girl number all three of them. <laughs> Yo, and that's Yo, why I'm. Wait, 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 you be trying no to shoot all the time. No time out. I take it back. No time out. I take it back after I shot the bullet. No time out. I know they come back. Yeah, no, they don't. Right? They don't. Stupid boomerang bullet. Asshole. This is why Ish is the man. Oh, man, that's funny. No. I'm not any man. Yo, keep going, man. I Wendy am. Williams. No, no. We on, you on you now. <laughs> Ishy Williams. <laughs> this is why Ish is the man. And I don't even... Have I ever told you the man? Are you the man? Ish was getting arrested, and I'm his main man. I know the vibes. Mm. I said, hey, should I take his belongings, officers, like his phones? And he looked, he thought, <laughs> and he gave it to me. Then he thought some more. Then he said, yo, I'll take my phones with me. Mm, I'm going to need these phones. From that moment on, <laughs> I, I knew that this, hey, yo, was this, like, play too this was like this was like a beta male. Yo, this nigga <laughs> is stupid, dog. Fam, you know how many times I've gotten caught by getting arrested and my girl getting my phone somehow. Mm. She go, she working, she work in conjunction with the cops. She get my fingerprints, <laughs> put it on the button, unlock it. <laughs> Yo, let me get the she index face. Let me get that out for me. Ish took his phone and it was all right, man. Another round of applause, man. Yeah, what is wrong with this guy? Man? Round of applause, goddammit. <sighs> um, what else is really important? I'm sure there's something else that's really important. Oh, okay, this was really important. Uh, we've gotten to the bottom of the fentanyl. Oh, man, uh, yeah, I see everyone yeah, tagging us in this shit. Yeah, that's horrible. And this is just one story. This is mm -hmm. two Columbus police officers with the narcotics unit were arrested and charged with crimes related to distributing nearly eight kilograms of fentanyl. So if you look at the amount that you need to kill somebody, that's a and shit. And they had like forty thousand people you kilograms of fentanyl. That's what it the estimate, I mean, I could be, probably is more. Look, two Columbus police officers with the police drug cartel unit were arrested and charged with crimes related to distributing nearly eight kilograms. I said all that. Get out of here, officers. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Allegedly, were involved in distributing seven and a half kilograms of fentanyl. What are they charging these guys? I with? know this is what I want to see. Like, hopefully we can follow this. Yeah. 
Bruh, if this was Moop Moop and Kit Kat, you know I gotta go to my niggas. Fish names, boy. Fam, yes. Moop Moop and Kit Kat. Fish names. Look, dog, they would get them niggas life. Oh, yeah. They would get life. The way fentanyl is killing people nationwide, they would get them people life. I want to see what they give them. Seven, ten kilograms. years. Well, I'm, I'm seven I'm years of dumb shit. It says a uh, federal investigator. Federal investigator said that one of the officers tried to recruit a confidential informant to distribute drugs with him, promising the informant he could intervene if other law enforcement mm-hmm. agencies attempted to investigate. Mm-hmm. And he tried to obtain citizenship is in Mexico as part of a money laundering plan for the drug money. Like, fam, he, I, so the not, police is giving us the fentanyl. Fam, I want to see what they gonna get. You get what I'm saying? Like because in my opinion, Slap on the wrist. when a when a cop does some shit because they are an officer of the law and they have the public trust and you getting a salary be, and all that shit, double. you should be dealt with worse than the crooks. I agree. I uh, yeah, I way agree. worse than the crooks. Never works that way, but no, it doesn't. Yeah, never. Like even even in the George Floyd shit, like we were all happy that. Derek Chauvin went to jail. Mm. But if I lived on your neck, yeah. they would have gave me way more years than him. Absolutely. No Multiple bullshit. Lives. They would have gave me way more years than him. Yeah. So, I mean, this is going to be funny, though, to see what they get. It's going to be a joke. I doubt if they get 10. Probably not. Maybe 10. Tops. Probably not. You going to see? Uh, so this is the story floating around Central Oregon that I'm just getting wind of. Uh about a gentleman named Barry Washington Jr. who was shot and murdered outside of a bar by a white man. Let me get this murderer's name. Uh, What's this guy's name? Fuck the murderer. No, no, not fuck the murderer. I want his name to be said. You don't get anonymity. Mm. Uh, Ian McKenzie Cranston. Ian McKenzie Cranston. This is the story that's going around. Ian McKenzie Cranston Cranston was at a bar with his white girlfriend uh, surrounded by white people. I'm going to assume this is a white bar. This young black man, Barry Washington, was there with his friends. Uh, He allegedly complimented the white girlfriend, which led to words between him and the gentleman. Uh, That escalated, and the gentleman pulled out a gun and murdered him on the sidewalk outside of the bar. You could hear, there's a video of this. Oh, this God. video is out. Uh, this video was sent to the local news by the murderer, by the murderer's girlfriend, Come on, man. the attorney counsel for them, because they thought that this was helping them. Uh, remember when we learned more about dude that was jogging and they murdered him? Yeah. And then uh, the video was sent by the guy that was stalking him. Like mm. this, this reeks of that. Oh, yeah, I remember that. So we only saw this video because they sent it. Which, which speaks to the headspace of the people that are just killing black people on sidewalks. Like, just the arrogance that goes into it. You said it. the girlfriend was laughing. Well, it was laughter. Uh, there was nobody that was in a rush to get an ambulance over there. Remember, that was, wasn't too long ago I talked about those precious seconds and those mm-hmm. precious yeah, minutes yeah. When, when something vital happens like that mm-hmm. and the difference it can make in saving a life. Uh <laughs> I went to watch the video. It's a disturbing video. I do not recommend people go watch it. I'm just bringing it up. Hopefully that justice is served. They just charged this man. Uh, When I was reading, there was no word, no real words on that. He just bonded out. He walked in, he bonded out. And to my knowledge, he's still on the street. I would like to raise some awareness for this story because it's disgusting. It's disturbing. And it's all too familiar to black people in this country. said he was a, like a nerdy kid. Like, he wasn't really into the bullshit. Mm. He still was playing Pokemon and Nintendo. This shit's sad, yo. Like, nah, it, it's, again, it's starting to be commonplace. Right. But I'm just saying, you can't do nothing. All right, I'm here to report to you my fantasy football update <laughs> of the week. Not only am I 0-3 in my big money league, but yet another one of my draft picks is out for the year. Shout out to DJ Chark. Damn kid! Round Sorry, of applause. <laughs> I got him in two leagues. It is Real. not going well for me out there. Damn kid. At all? Yep. That's what I got for you guys. <laughs> My team sucks, so ain't nothing to report. Uh, if I lose this week, I'm in second Owen place. Four, so uh, shut up, Ice. And, and I'm playing against the first place person. So I'll smoke your boots. Watch. He sure is. That nigga team different. Yeah, yeah. bro. We he takes so- this shit serious. No, he he's amazing. Yeah. 
We, yeah, you got to take him on the next big money league. Pick him. That's yeah. That's who you. That's who you need. That's who you take. You got to take Ray with you. Take him with you. Yeah, I'm gonna take Ray next year. Seriously, yeah. all jokes aside, that nigga is he different. Yeah. You like you picked him, right? Nigga end up getting forty a game. Right. I wish I, knew, <laughs> I wish I knew where Danny Dimes lived. <laughs> 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 you you want to send him a present? Yeah. What you want to know what he lived for? <laughs> hey, yo, 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 you go throw some rocks? <laughs> Fam, if oh, I can get his address. <laughs> there's a few people I just don't need their address, man. Oh, my God. Danny <laughs> Dimes is one of them. Shout, so shout out to him. Yo. <laughs> and Ish, a Cowboy fan, last week in the car. He's like, yo, I see flashes of greatness. I'm like, yo. I like Danny Dimes. I know you do as a Cowboy this is fan. He's a good friend. I'm about to say, as, as a Cowboy, cowboy fan, I know, I know you do like him. No, Take I him like on your team. Is it too early to talk about uh, the 76ers and the process? Oh, the process is over. Mm. Now, but now that it's over, what's up? We can fairly assess how it went. Yes, it was a failure. Uh, uh, what? I wouldn't I say a failure. Fair, it was a failure. Me neither. I think that was terrible. The process process a respectable. That failed. The process was supposed to that deliver a, us a championship, fam. That would be an overstatement. <laughs> failed. What was the process, though? I don't, I don't think it was a failure. Fam, we tanked it, years. A fail we, would we be too a, great of a word. Yeah, this was for what it is. There fam. They were competitive for mad years, so Stop. I wouldn't mad say it's years? a complete failure. Com- well, several complete years. And to- couldn't, this is couldn't, a failure. Couldn't be a bigger failure. Yeah, this is a failure, This bro. couldn't be a bigger failure. I'm you're talking to a Sixers fan here. This I is a disagree. failure. And you're talking to somebody who was a fan of a bad team, so we was trying to get a high draft pick all those years, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The 76ers' plan was to tank, 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 right? and hoard the draft picks, mm-hmm. and then come out with a contender. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Now, they came out with a contender via free agency. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If we are to review their draft, much like our 2018 NFL draft, it's going to be a mess. Fam, we tra- fam, we took... Mark- Embiid is a hit. Yeah. Cool. Markel Fultz. He has some other issues, though. No, 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 no. But you got to talk about the players that were drafted. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the Tatum draft. Yes, it was. It was. But There's nothing to it say. It moved up. No, Markel Fultz. It's you can't really. Fam, win. There's nothing you There's nothing can to say. say about it. I mean, we can have the hindsight talk. We're having the hindsight but talk right now. In 2021, if you took Fultz, yo, I'm a Knicks fan. We took Kevin Knox at nine, and Michael Porter Jr. went 14. He got a 200 million dollar contract. I have to live with that today. The thinking back then, I understand his back injuries, but today we could look and say Markel Fultz. Wasn't the best pick. Over Jason Tatum. Or we could say what happened if Tatum went there. Man, just look at the picks. They could say what happened look, if Porzingis the went there. Let look me, let me the put picks. Porzingis with, with uh, Embiid. All right, forget about that. The Ner- Ner- Nerland's Noel draft. Mm-hmm. And he turned out to be a good player for my team. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I ain't mad at it. No, he ain't bad. But they took him six. Yeah, he's not yeah. bad. Five. Something. See, this four, is the thing with something high. This is the thing with Damn, Donovan picks. Mitchell was in there. This is the thing. <laughs> like, with look at the you don't want to read that draft. Yeah, you, this, <laughs> let me read you the Markel Fultz, Fultz draft. Yeah, Fultz draft. Yeah, Markel Fultz one, Lonzo Ball two, Tatum three, Josh Jackson four, De'Aaron Fox five, Mom. John I'm sick already. six, Lori McKinnon seven, seven. Frank Nicolatina <laughs> eight, and I want to send a round of applause to Frank Nicolatina. I do. Tell me why. I'm not sure because for him to get drafted that high. To be deemed as a bust the entire time you was there from the organization, for that to be a Phil Jackson pick when we hated Phil Jackson following that, he handled his tenure with the Knicks with such class. Even his goodbye. He went to Dallas. I know. He gave a beautiful goodbye to the Knicks fans, the Knicks organization. I was like, yo, I've never seen us shit on somebody the way we shitted on that kid. Mm. 17, 18 when he was drafted mm. and for him to still leave with his head up, chin up like, yo, okay. thank y'all for the opportunity to salute. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Frank Nicolatina. Thank you for that. That was hard. No, that was dope. That's it. I'm not getting into Uh-oh. his game and okay. all of that. That's that's for Don Nelson or whoever's over at Dallas to figure out. <laughs> I don't think that was the draft pick, but how he handled himself while he was there, yeah, no. He gets that from me. Um, Look, Bam went 14. <laughs> Oh, my, I don't want to read this. Donovan no more, Mitchell, man. 13. Malik Monk, Sick. 11. Yeah, I'm out of here. John Collins, 19. Oh, we... <laughs> look, Bro. we picked Frank Nicolatina, 8. Dennis Smith Jr. went 9. We ended up with him, too. I'm out of here. I don't, want, I don't want to look at this no more. I'm finished with this. 
Uh, but yeah, the 76ers and, and how they drafted, if you just take a look back at those drafts, they leave with a team that wins a championship. Build to the draft is difficult, though. No, this is what I was about to say. In, and bas- in basketball especially. In basketball especially. Yeah, but they didn't tank to get them. You're drafting off of potential. Uh-huh. So if somebody comes into the league and this is Barkley, Magic, all of their points, they get so much bread guaranteed that yeah. they stop working on their game. Now the women come. Now the dope cars come. Now all of that shit comes. You're a star. Joke is not shooting jumpers in the summer to get better because now the money's there. You you reach a level of success. You feel like you don't got to work on your game no more. Let me respond to Parks. The bad teams normally do have to tank to get a good player. True. Golden State, yeah, they could pick Draymond in the 40-whatever round. Denver... <laughs> Denver normally drafts good. Like, I'm bitching about that's Michael scouting. Porter Jr., but I'm not mad yeah. at it because Denver does that every that's scouting. year. Yo, that's just Toronto. And it's also, Toronto. But it's also not Toronto. throwing away your entire Toronto. team and whatever little foundations you build. Listen, I'm a Dolphins fan, and this is we're talking NBA, but mm-hmm. I'm same watching shit. the same thing. We throw away all our good players to get good draft picks, mm-hmm. and that's a shitty Damn, way to build I, a fucking team. It even, even back, back to the Sixers. Well, though. no, because that's just half of it. Yes, I agree. But if you have the... What's homeboy's name in, in Toronto? They love the black guy. The black dude. Masuri. Masuri. Him. Well, I don't know his name, but him. We know you who you're need, talking about. If you can get all the draft picks you want. Danny Ainge got all them draft picks for the big three in Boston. Mm-hmm. We could look at that and say it didn't really turn into what we thought it would turn into when he had 90 draft picks. Mm-hmm. So the other half of that is you got to pick them. Yeah. You right. got to pick them. And if we got, look, the Giants can't pick. Oh, my God. I hate them. Yeah. Right, look I'm at this. Look, look, look. This is, Bro, you this need to get fired if you're a scout. Ben Simmons you need to get fired if you're a scout. Wait, look. Yeah, no. This is the, ben, another this is the ben, ben Simmons draft. Okay. Ben Simmons one, Brandon Ingram, Brandon Ingram two, Jalen Brown three, Bender four, Chris Dunn five, Buddy Hill, Jamal Murray, Marquise Chris. Uh, right. I hated him. I hated Damn. Marquise Chris. Don Maker. Now, now, who else was you taking in this draft? That's a lot of niggas. You, in t- it. you take some you, bonus in that draft. You're not taking him number one. No, you're not. No, you don't. No, no. In hindsight? In hindsight, you're not taking hindsight, him I take one. Jamal Murray. You're not know. taking Jamal Murray over in uh, hindsight. Well, in hindsight, yeah. We said it. We're saying hindsight. In hindsight. I'm just saying for a team with multiple number one picks, top three picks, period. It's, that's not even a great draft right there. Oh, yeah. No, look. This is the draft. You got who, seven, who the eight. Knicks took? Who the Knicks took? Exactly. Who they took? <laughs> who they took? They have a pick. <laughs> <laughs> ain't a pick in sight The fuck <laughs> Knicks ain't take nobody God damn it Anyway Look Siakam with 27 That's drafting That's yo. drafting And yeah. Philly picked again before him That's drafting dog <laughs> You get what I'm oh, saying Oh Philly took Firkin Corm- Cormaz Corkmaz <laughs> oh, pick- Not and, Firkin and, and, Corkmaz and, again, and before that again Oh and they took <laughs> Timothy Luawe Cabaret At 24 they did all that and Siakam was sitting right there? Bro, Siakam's there. Oh, uh, the Murray from San Antonio. He's Wait, there. Wait, now go down a little bit. Let me see the second round. <laughs> Zubac is oh, not Malcolm a bad Oh, Malcolm Brogdon. Pick. Malcolm Brogdon is not a bad. Great pick, actually, in the second round. Not Malcolm Brogdon being here in the mm-hmm. 30s. All right, come on. They don't need to hear us do this. Yeah, bunch, yeah. Of, bunch of bones. Let's get out of here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, don't have any, I don't have anything else. The process was I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with just, you on that. They, they blew that one. Um, I don't have anything else that's imperative. Anything going on this weekend that we need to touch on that I forgot about any festivals, any shows? The Ice movie. is real excited about this. Uh, this Mini Saint, the Mini Saints of Nork movie. Oh, I definitely want to watch that. That's out. Uh, See yeah. the prequel. Yeah, the prequel to the, the Sopranos. Sopranos. The Sopranos. I can't wait. I thought it was coming out at midnight and my ass was clicking. Nope. So I had to go to sleep. Mm. So I will be watching that the second I walk in the door. We're getting closer and closer to that Lights Out Festival. I know I talk about it enough. I know y'all think I get paid to talk about it, but I do not. I will just be there in the name of great R&B music. Mm. That's it. That is all. That festival Ice was talking about looked crazy, too. Oh, yeah. That was the Atlanta shit, right? With Jeezy and Gucci and them? Mm-hmm. Jeezy and Fab up. always make his way on that Atlanta ticket. Yeah, them his <laughs> niggas ain't playing. Um, I wish everybody safe everything with that Gucci and... Jeezy and them shit. They ain't gonna be fine. It's gonna yeah, yeah be, they'll hopefully. be just fine. They gonna have a blast out there. Not literally. <laughs> hopefully not. I mean, fun. It's the Legend of the Streets tour, and it's it's Ross, Jeezy, Gucci, Two Chains, Fab, Boosie, Lil Kim, Trina, and DJ Drama. That's a nice line. You said everybody be safe with Jeezy and Gucci like Boosie. And- <laughs> 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 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me look at the dates. Dallas, Miami, Jacksonville, Tampa, and Memphis. And Houston. I'll be home. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Jacksonville, yeah. Sunday, Sunday, Baltimore, New Orleans, That's the closest it is, Baltimore, yeah. Greensboro, Atlanta, Augusta. Nope, home. Yo, dog. Every one of them cities, let it go. <laughs> Fam, <laughs> they, they, yo, you got Rikers shit. PTSD, man. <laughs> yo, you are home now and safe. Hey, man, you got your freedom. You are safe and sa- your freedom. Hey, fam. Them niggas, they let it go. All them cities. Anything else we got to get to? Uh, I think that's it, man. We can get the sleepers. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Hasta la vista. Riva Derchi. So long. Goodbye and all that good stuff. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this moment last as if it's all we have. Last but not least, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel, especially for their birthday. Don't get caught up. Don't get caught up, man. That's their birthday, not yours. (laughs) <laughs> They've been getting money all year Why are you paying for it Stay safe this weekend Shout out to everybody going out Shout out to everybody 0-3 in their fantasy football league <laughs> Can't relate I'm 2-1 in that league Ice Respect me So am I Till Sunday night Nah They gonna love you for your ambition 3-1 and one, baby well, We love the ambition Ice You sound great You sound real ambitious Yo y'all hold it down this weekend man Thank you for taking the time out to listen and I'll be back same time, same place next week. Uh oh, and it go. No, 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 no,